Hello and welcome to Tales from the Dark Side, your Star Wars news and weekly comic recap presented by Renovision. The show that is here with you instead of watching the Oscars. And here's a few other things we'd rather do than watch Oscar. the Oscars. Pull janitor duty on Star Killer Base the morning after Taco Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we'd rather braid black Kersantan's back hair while wearing a Trandoshan Halloween mask. And finally, I think we'd rather go to a club where Max Rebo's farewell performance was the day before. Hmm. All those things we'd rather <laughs> do than watch the Oscars. Tonight, we'll show off some pickups. We'll give you the latest on Star Wars happenings and, co and collectible releases. We share some con experiences from earlier this weekend. There's only one new Star Wars comic uh, to review this week. It's the High Republic Adventures 13. We continue our deep dive into High Republic with a focus on the recently wrapped up High Republic Adventures. We've got a story recap, character list, comic market report, and comic rankings. And trivia, followed by decisions, where answering the question is just a formality. Let's get it going, fellas. I need a nap. Oh, I guess I do too. I need um, a break. I need a nap. You guys are killing me. I'm so <laughs> So, uh, hungover for so much Star Wars players. content coming at you. I don't know what Star to do. Wars. Um, yeah, Pete did a whatnot today. So did Steve Horn. Hope they did good. I, th I think they did. It sounded like it was good. I peaked it for a second. Great okay. job. Um, we got a bunch of people to say hi to in the chat. But before we do that, Jedi, could you finish off the around the horn? Okay. So last week we heard a lady had soaked his new sneakers in pickle juice. Well, he must like the look because he went out and bought a new pair that looks like they too survived a pickle juice incident. They glow <laughs> in the dark and stand out in a crowd just like the guy who wears them. It's Macho Man Marco. You know, for every comic hobby husband auctioning off part of his collection, there's a wife standing just off camera, slowly shaking her head while shopping online for purses. He knows what I'm talking about. It's the visionary Pete Renovision. <laughs> Was that sexist? I'm sorry. Nah, <laughs> no, no, no. Now, I can only speak for myself, but I was a bit on edge watching this guy open a strange unmarked package that delivered to his address <laughs> earlier this week. <laughs> only Star Wars collectors do that. Normal people, they call 911. <laughs> it's <the> October <laughs> and the hunt is on. <laughs> and okay, I told you guys this was coming, so brace yourself. He said, Jedi, I've made a hobby. Outguessing YouTube theories, knowing who was full of it, by the way they push their spec. And if you don't mind me stating, I can see you got the FOMO for a Coke and a Big Mac. I'll give you an odds review. It's the gambler of the crew. Hey, I like that. <laughs> you started off weak, but you came through at the end. That was nice. Yeah, that's, that's all that matters. Okay, this guy wears a life alert around his house just in case of a collection avalanche in his dark side fortress. <laughs> well, it's all falling and I can't get up. It's the, it's the sequel safeguarding Sith from South Texas. Darth Ram Rugason is back tonight. Nine deep. They're nine deep. Nine deep. Eggs. <laughs> and like his favorite Star Wars character, sometimes he greets his house guest with his parts showing. That's no moon. It's me, Jedi Johnson 22. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Good job, Jedi. As you see, we have Ruben. Uh, we've got a bunch of collectors in this one. And we got a bunch of sellers, apparently, because Pete sold a bunch of stuff. And I had a two-day con this weekend. So Pete's going to be drunk on here, and I'm going to be tired on here. And we're going to let the uh, other guys run the reins today. Right, Pete? Well, I'm just wondering, did you do your con like the entire first day with like earplugs in so you couldn't hear anybody talking to you? Because apparently... I ran the first hour and a half of my oh, whatnot without seeing the chat. Yeah, oh. the boys were like, hey, could you text him? Because he's not watching. I was like, I, I called I him. I yeah. called him. I saw, I was like, yeah. straight to voicemail. Like, <laughs> I too did. And somebody overpaid for a book. I said, it looks like he's doing fine to me. So I'm good. 
Well, uh, you, the whatnot's got to go through the phone, and my computer had the Star hey, Wars music playing, so I Ruben. couldn't receive any messages. <laughs> You were here and uh, and your first one in, so there you go. Yesterday. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, okay. Martin, uh, hopefully you're hearing us on the replay. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate all our fans over in England. We got a couple packages going out to some of them, um, so that's good. Oh, yes. Rodney, the, the uh, yeah, I, he is always late, but today, actually, a couple seconds were my late. fault. Today, it, today it was a little bit my fault, uh, the two minutes, because I was going on a rant. Yeah. And I was reading this. Which bags and boards did you order, James? Oof. Um, I got lucky. I got. I really just ordered a hundred top loaders that finally came in. Uh, I really need top loaders. I'm about to. I. You know what I do is like I actually have to do it now because I'll tell about later in the counter report. But I got it. I do bulk. I buy bulk. The bulk stuff because that's how many I need to get through it. And honestly, the bulk boxes when they do it through BCW, they give you like I think it's like it's supposed to be a thousand, but I think I usually get like a thousand fifty out of them. So hmm. I used to. Um, do I haven't done bulk in a while. I've McDonald's done, French fries and McDonald's French fries. Is that what we got, Darth Lopez? They, cool. uh, Popcorn. Wasn't there like oh. a uh, delay on the uh, the top loaders for the cards and stuff like that? Probably. Or, delay, oh, yeah, the card, the card, yeah, the cards. The cards. I didn't even know where any of the cards were. We're saying hi to everybody in the chat. Comics. Ed, good to say hi. Thank you for saying hi in the algorithm. Uh, let's make the jump to hyperspace. Dan, thank you. Oh, Dan. Dan had a great show, too. He was there. We couldn't have been further apart, but he had a great show, too. Uh, Sticks, good to see you. Darksiders assemble. Then you showed up. Uh, Bonalina? Hey, this is the way. Bonilla. Bonilla. Bobby Bonilla. Bonilla. Jay, though. Who's Jay? Well, it doesn't matter. But it's Bonilla, like Bobby Bonilla. Still being okay. paid by the Mets for another. I don't watch the Mets, bro. <laughs> After Strawberry was like doing. Anyways, have to watch hi, them. Pete. Hi, Pete. This is for you. Well, I said hello. I said hello to Linda already in the Grape chat. Cheerio. Grape Cheerio. Is that really? Maybe. Okay, That's hi, delicious. Ruben. Jamie. What? I've never had him before. Wayseeker. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Sean, good to see you. We're almost through it all. Uh, it's Brandon. Good to see you, Brandon. Obi, what's going on? Obi, did you go to that sale at uh, Ben's? I didn't get out there today. Did I get through everybody? Sam, good to see you. Eric. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Guys, okay, here we go. Good to see everybody. All right, we're done. Let's get into oh, <laughs> I did. I said, hey, Eric. Eric. You said, said Eric. Eric. Yeah. <laughs> I clicked him. See, I mean, it's a lot. Now everybody's coming in. Popcorn. Good. Lopez got it. All right. <laughs> I am so tired. Uh, <laughs> do you guys want to chat for two minutes now about top loaders and everything else you guys were bringing up? Or no? We good? Yeah, you want to? No, not in particular. Uh, you didn't go either. Okay. Obi. I think I'm going to make a trip down there. All right. News it is. Let's get right into news. Guys, we have today. We've got news. We've got one comic to review, like you said. Also, I'm going to kind of keep it brief because I um, may or may not have read the books that are coming out next week and we may or may not, we're going to try not to spoil them as we normally don't because you're not supposed to be doing stuff, but there's something we want to kind of dance around. So we'll be doing that later in reviews. Don't, don't say we, I did not read next week's books yet. So neither no, have I. I'm, I actually am the only, it's well, you. <laughs> and, uh, Hey, JJ, don't, shake your head. don't shake your head. All right. Uh, what's it like aboard the star Wars? JJ, tell us what it's like about uh, aboard the ship, please. Uh, well, this is just to prepare everybody for the person the looks EU. like he's having fun. The, yeah, no, they all look like they're having a grand old time drinking blue milk or whatever that is. <laughs> they're dressed up and they're cosplaying. But uh, they're just destined. to let you know that the uh, the media blitz has begun. I don't know if anybody noticed in the news, but you had all your major media outlets talking about what it was like at the Galactic Star Cruiser. So clearly, okay. Disney has started the uh, free stays for the media. So I assume it was ten stars across the board. Yeah, I, don't, I only read like two articles, but they they were pretty favorable. But I don't know. I did. But they're not I paying five thousand dollars for it, probably. So. Well, do they have to cosplay? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Do they have to cosplay the people that are writing? Do they it? have to cosplay. Yeah. People have to cosplay. No, no, no. See, if the media goes in there, they got to cosplay. If they're not going to pay for yeah, it, gotta, I, like, you got you got to get the full. They're going to work for it. You make them work for it. <laughs> Once again, why I'm not going? Not because the six thousand dollars. They, they got to be droids. They just got to be like non obtrusive droids. They just got to go through just like and just record and do what they're doing. They probably have a cosplay salon on there that you can go to, and they did say you can buy stuff. It's very expensive, yeah. but yeah. So you could be like, I, I just want a Jedi braid behind my ear. Can you? Put I bought, board? I bought my own tuxedo a bunch of years ago, just because I don't. That's I think renting stuff is gross like that. Well, I there, I'm definitely not going to some place that will rent you a cosplay, yeah, you, a cosplay outfit. Are you out of your mind? Well, you you might wear tuxedos more a lot often of than I do. I'm if you make yourself, a lot of cosplayers are kind of like, yeah. No, I got a couple of events I have to go to, like two events a year. I have to wear one. If I bought a tuxedo a couple years ago, I wouldn't fit it now. 
And then I'd have to buy a new tuxedo. There's a thing called a tailor Pete. <laughs> the ad material? Because that's what we're talking they about. They can let here. it out and pull yes. it. Okay. Itself <laughs> after like three winnings. Pamela will talk about it, by the way. But I'll tell you how the tailor works. All yeah. right. Um, they next time. Around, Kingsman. They don't move it around, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> don't move it around. J JJ. It's a friend's reference. Right. I know you don't get um, it, Marco. Yeah. No. We haven't got past get... the first panel on news yet. It's been... <laughs> Ten uh, minutes, and Pete said so he yeah. had to rush this up today because he has to. I, know, to I, 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 I took off tomorrow. I said, you know what? It's gonna be a long day. I'm All right, taking a day off tomorrow. All right, Pete's gonna get muted. All right, what's up, right. JJ? I'm on comic announcements. We had a dark horse, and that's one of their first books. It's gonna be a. I, it's gonna have to be a pretty lengthy trade paperback. Although the comics, so mm. this is gonna be a collection of the Rebels comics that were actually published mostly in Europe and not here, um, which. I think in Germany was the country that got all the way through it, and there's 39 issues from Rebels magazine, plus four issues of a Rebels animation magazine, mm. so 43 issues total. And I think the comics were like maybe like 10 pages in a magazine. Mm -hmm. So I don't put that all together. It's gonna be a fairly lengthy book. But... Did you sell some of those today, Pete? Yeah, sold a couple magazines. Nice. Yeah. All right. Next up. So I can no longer say my German Rebels magazines are only available in Europe. They were clearly going to be available here now. So. Yeah, the magazines are what people were yelling for that apparently I was not hearing. That's true. That's why I brought it up. Oh, you did this one? Cool. I cut the side of my news. All right. Yeah. Oh, ah, nice. So, Mandalorian will be getting a comic adaptation of mm -hmm. season one, episode by episode. Does Does anybody find this interesting? Because this was the thing that was supposed to come out of IDW. You know that, right? Yeah, like, well, IDW about a year ago was supposed to do this, and it never yeah, came to Yeah, I find fruition. it interesting, but at the same time, I find it also kind of useless. We kind of at is. this point, like I, I would rather them have like give me a story that like bridges the gaps between yes. seasons or something. Not like no, I rather have them have just a, a rehash of something I saw two years ago for this, like his early days as a bounty hunter. Yeah, like that a prequel. Would, they can't do that, yeah. Dom, because then you wouldn't be able to get all the the Groku in there and sell stuff. Based but they're already other. selling stuff. They don't need yeah. to have. But you could do you could you could because you could do a flashback. Yeah, Dom's favorite, a flashback in it of oh, Groku. <laughs> But let me ask you a question now. Itself, it's kind of interesting because Gina Grano, her character is going to be heavily uh, in the book. You know, Gina Grano is not going to be in the book, but Cara yeah, Dune will. The they already put out a Lego. Yeah, Cara they just put out a Lego Dune, of Cara yeah. Dune. Like they're not scratching Cara Dune. They just the one person fired themselves, so she got fired. They didn't. That doesn't mean Disney cancels a character. Yeah, I mean, you look watch at how when many... they recast her, and they go, "What?" Yeah. They yeah. recast Rhodey. <laughs> Disney's well, not recasting an actor. They did recast can you uh, can you recast her with somebody that actually has acting chops? You could. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Um, I mean, look, Don Sasha Banks did good. Don Cheadle a heck of a lot more than Terrence Howard. Not that Terrence Howard can't act. I'm just saying. I, I'm okay. Like Don Cheadle. So this is gonna be cool. At least they're giving us that. I mean, we, we do. Oh, I did put up the Sprouse thing for all the people that didn't watch the last video and then didn't watch the IG. There are. I like. Where's is where's Zaggy? By the way. Repair Tech Toy. I'll talk about when he gets here. Repair Tech Toy, good to see you. Scott, good to see you too. Oh, this, this one was put in here for Marco. <laughs> this is just an interesting <laughs> article. I oh, think Scary Rand put up a Star Wars theory that we may see oh. in the Jedi Academy storyline. One of our favorite Jedi, oh. Kyle Katarn. Yeah, good. Is he done taking out the trash and grocery, uh, bagging groceries now, or what is he? Yeah. He's literally like the fanboy that bags groceries got a story. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Next up. Kurt Warner? Yeah. Yeah, that's he's the Kurt Warner of Star he's Wars. Kurt Warner of Star Wars. He is the okay. Kurt Warner of Star Wars. All right, go so ahead. this was interesting. I don't know if everybody else saw this. So mm -hmm. basically, there were some plot leaks. Now, whether or not they're true plot leaks remains to be seen. But um, the plot leak involved there being a new Jedi that we've never heard of before called was a Nali. I think was the Nali, name they Nali. stated or something like that. Yeah, and Nali will be the reason that the Inquisitors track her to Tatooine because she's. Well, I assume it's a she. I don't really know. Is looking for Obi Wan, and How'd she know Obi -Wan? Uh, apparently it's due to I guess the beacon that Obi Wan sent out. So that kind of makes sense. Actually, this whole plot like actually the makes beacon sense. that he left out. You know where he put the oh. beacon. You know where the beacon is, right? It's in the temple, but he yeah, switched it. Not. Yeah, yeah. So actually, this plot leak to me made a lot of sense in the fact that I think about, this yeah. is kind of the route they're going to go, but. But you think? Be, I thought he was going to go think, off planet. I thought that he wasn't going to be on planet. That was the first leak. Well, this no, is off planet. planet. I mean, they're going to come to Tatooine, but I think he's going to leave Tatooine. It was also part of the yeah. plot. So, 
that you know it would be involved in that whole like Leia like kidnapping, and that's how they kind of draw them out. But I don't know. It, it was a little mixed, obviously being plot leak details. But to me, like this is much better than like the plot leak we got on like 4chan or something for Book of Boba Fett. Like it makes much more sense. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it did confirm something interesting though, in that it, it gave the names of three Inquisitors. Three. And oh, yeah. So there was, yeah, there was Grand Inquisitor, which we kind of already know from the Rupert Friend thing. Mm -hmm. And then there was Fifth Brother, who Fifth brother. everybody assumes is going to be, uh, what was his name in Fast and the Furious? Han. 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 Fast and the Furious. <laughs> that, that was the early assumption that was going to be him. And then there was okay. another one, which was the third sister, or I think Reva was the name they gave. Mm -hmm. Interesting. The name's kind of weird, but interesting in the fact that it kind of confirms that old theory of there may be like one of each. Which is nice to get a sister. Yeah, yeah like a third brother and a third sister. So, Dubs. yeah. Well, you could have more than twenty. You don't even know. They just could be counting up. But yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be fun. That'd be really cool. All right, is that it? That's all you had. That's it. That was it. Short news. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, short news it is. None of the Leia rumors in that one, where he's protecting Leia, not Luke. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it makes kind of sense with the Leia thing because she knows Obi Wan when she uh, has the plans. And she has an R2 find Obi Wan. So it from now on, Pete, whenever we get into this, I want the, the thing down there 0.18% right at all times. 0.18%. You want what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it gets it funny. All right, let's go. Up next is comics. Comics. Uh, we have one The High Republic Adventures 13 finally shuts down. Uh, that was very fast. We, were we, we actually were talking about we we're going to try to send out the link for everybody for. You want uh, this? Yes. Yeah, that's what he yeah. wants. Exactly what he wants. <laughs> exactly what I want. Exactly what I want. Okay. Um, okay. We want uh, so the High Republic number thirteen. We were going to try to send out the link for the adventure stuff uh, for the IDW thing, the book, but it went really fast. I think we saw. I think when we got on to try to buy them, there was there was three hundred and eighty five left or something like that. Then like when I like it went to seven when I tried to put them in my cart. And then by the time I went to my cart, there was zero. Gone. Yeah. So I, I bought a couple and then told it said told you guys. Yeah. And I was like, oh, and then I went back. I was like, oh, they're all gone now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there was no, it wasn't even so it went fast, unfortunately. Um, and unfortunately, my LCS sold the RI underneath my out of my pull box. So we're mm -hmm. gonna have to have a little chat about that. But we'll pick up a couple more. It was good. I liked it. It was a great ending. You know, I actually we've all liked this series the whole time. It's disappointing that they're gonna move it, but um, you know, I think it's also had some of our favorite characters that we have a lot of future for. Anyways, they give us a little call back to see what's going on here. I do think it's interesting they went more into we mentioned this character last week because or was it last week or was it two weeks ago? What week was it where they were fighting out of the ship where you see the quartz like little thing? I think his name is Zit or something like that. Zint. Yep. Zint? Is it Zint? Zint. 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 Z I N T Zint. Yeah, there you go. It's a she, actually. Oh, you're right. It is a she. You're hundred percent. So they have a little cute back and forth, daddy, daughter, upper, older brother, younger brother type thing. Um, pretty cute. It's a good job. We get pretty much a lot of stuff that came out. It kind of was what we thought. It was a lot of stuff that came out of, uh, if you read the novel, uh, Horizon. Midnight Horizon. Midnight Horizon. There's a lot of this stuff was in Midnight Horizon. Uh, the same thing next week, I would assume, if I read the High Republic book. It's going to be a lot of the same stuff and some of the stuff in the eye. Um, so if you read that, you should be pretty up to and what's going to happen in those two books too they do the little back and forth then they give us the little like they describe this situation a little bit more in depth in the novel where they're having like their feelings for each other um between lula and um what's her name zine and then they split up zine then all of a sudden we're throwing zit in the air that's cool um yeah i don't know <laughs> or is there again with all the legs and that he may or may not play an important. Well, they said in the preview, so we'll release that later when we get through it. They go the back and forth, and they knight both uh, Quartz and Fleck. What's the dude with the hair and the big chops? Rosala. Rosala. They both get knighted. That's kind of cool. It was cool to see it, man. And we know that Court runs in with uh, buckets of blood and Rosala to go fight uh, one of the levelers because we already saw that in mm -hmm. the last form of um, mm -hmm. what was it? What was the book the Shadow? Trail of Shadows. Trail of Shadows. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sorry, man. I really am tired. All right. And then they do the whole light and life bullshit. So there you go. 
No, okay. Hansel, you I, begin. I, I don't know, man. I the light and life thing for some reason. I don't know what it is about light and life. It's just like the raising of the thing in the whole. That, There's a uh, Daniel Jose older. Oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> The yeah, I get right it. For that page. Uh, there it is, right there. He's right here with the head. Sorry, that's why I put this on his yeah. own panel. The guy he's that definitely does not look like he's in a Star Wars comic. No, he's like, no. Hey, I'm wearing a hat yeah. and shirt. Oh, so he got himself well. in there. Good job for him. And right above the end for those people that are looking. I guess it's a. Is that the first appearance of him in a comic? I don't even know. But I have no idea. Probably. Next week we're going to have the finale for High Republic 14. I bet you people are going to say this book's under order too. Whatever. Um, 15 or 15. Yep. Yeah. They'll probably, but uh, we get a little bit of Midnight Horizon again. This people died. This is from a preview, so we're not releasing the stuff, the book, even though the book's been out. We're not releasing it. We're just letting you see what it's available it is. on StarWars.com. What's that? Yes, it's, it's on StarWars.com. Preview available on StarWars.com. It's gonna be cool though. I'll tell you this. It's kind of you know, it's if you like the novel, which we did, you're gonna like this book. So pick it up. Just order it early because you know everybody thinks the end of. They're still going through that old 90s thing where like in the early 2000s where the end of runs were short printed. Uh, so that rumor is going around that this stuff is short printed. We've well, been printing logic, right. but the thing I don't know. Not yeah, yeah. Not, but not after the whole Sprouse thing and after the one in 25. So they haven't said, really but you think they'll kick it off. I assume it because Marvel, they'll kick it off as a number one when they relaunch it like in October. They yeah, they're going to relaunch it one. Well, I don't. Are they going to do? Yeah, because it's going to be different. It's not. They didn't say, know. but I mean, it's Marvel. I think it's going to be they always like number one. Yeah, yeah but I think they're so going to do no, it like. Uh, there's no second prints planned for High Republic Adventures 13, or I think they got time. I mean, they, they, I doubt, yeah, I doubt it. I don't know. If they, I, I think I think the reason they pushed those online exclusives out was they were supposed to be convention exclusives, and they didn't have the sure. chance to release yeah. them. I think but, all that stuff, that's what we were saying. Like, with the remember when they did the annual and then they did the cookbook right next to each other and just pushed it all in between two, and there was like a two week span on that. I think this was supposed to extend into the summer, and they yeah, maybe. they're just like, I think they're out of time. I mean, it yeah. could be wrong. Who knows? I don't know exactly know when it ends, but well, they got to be close to being out of time. Once again, you know, if you look, if, if history is anything, uh, when Dark Horse. Lost it. I mean, now they were a little bit more negative and a lot more stuff leaked out. IDW has just been kind of quiet about it and kind of let it go under the rug. But the warehouse has had to clear out eventually. And that's probably going to be in like a two month span. Yeah. So. And Darkest has always t already taken solicits for their titles. And they are. The first solicits come up this week. So, so I think it's real. I actually really like the, the other, the last variant on this one, though, the yellow one with the, the gun. But I think you should go for <laughs> a cover. I know people already liked A cover, but I think you should get a couple of A colors because they actually show you in the previews. Which one's the A? Is that the Noto in the middle or the Conan yeah, on the one left. left? Yeah, Conan one. Conan, Conan on the left. Because the Conan on the left, they show you in the preview. So if you don't want to know anything about this book, what's up, Astro? Don't yeah, look yeah. right now. Just look away for a couple minutes. But it starts off with Obi Obitron. What is this guy's name? Obrek. Obrek being uh, locked up at the end of the chain. So the beginning of the book is this. This is this panel. It's him right there on the, the mm -hmm. lay left. And on the end of that chain is this. Now, there's been some weird rumor about that he's converted and turned into one of these nameless. That's not the case. I think they said something about this hand. These panels are from the shadow where we first see the nameless, where they give the whole thing. That's what the trail of shadows five. The trail of shadows five. It's not the great leveler, but it's a leveler. Yeah. And so, the nameless are, yeah, I was going to say the nameless, the nameless are, are that character. I think because of his fingerprint, they thought maybe because the uh, the hands, I don't know. And he also yeah. mentioned something. Also, this is cut from the previews. We're not showing you anything. But if there's a rumor that there's maybe a planet that all the nameless come from, I cannot confirm or deny it. If maybe like a great leveler, uh, uh, the, the, the rod shows up, I can neither confirm or deny that either. Can't do that. Can't yeah. tell you if it was or it wasn't. You won't be seeing those pictures here. And if a couple nameless show up, I, I won't say that either. Or a, or a certain group that we've seen in novels, I won't say that yeah. either. I'm just saying. So, yeah. So I mean, that's why Trail of Shadows Five was important. Yeah. And kind of, I mean, because well, that's a good panel there because it shows you what a how a Jedi sees it and how a non Jedi sees it. And like, yeah. I think the bottom panel is how Emmerick the Jedi sees it, and the top yeah, panel is like how Sion saw it. See, so you think they're right like boggets yeah. in the Harry Potter world where you see whatever your fear is? <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> but yeah, the mean. Jedi Jedi perceive everything from them differently than normal people do. I think to clarify, too, there's more than one. Like the great leveler was a nameless, but he was like the one that if you read the novels, he, was it in the novels or was it in the, the book with uh, 
was in the audio book with what's his, or the store. Well, and so in Trail Cyrus 5, Utter Sound calls them the nameless, but I think he's referring to it like plurally speaking, the nameless. Yeah, that's what the characters so, are. Yeah. But there, there is something called the Great Leveler. That was one of these. It was the biggest one, yeah. the one that was frozen in ice that he got out. Yeah. Hmm. But the rumor, how do I, oh, I almost spoiled it. Um, <laughs> but the rumor is at the end of the IS, they're going to go to the planet where they can find more of these things. And it's not the great levelers. They're not. We know that he. We know that he finds several because in the, because they show up here. Star. There's one of them right here. Yeah, because Fallen Star he sends four to Starlight Beacon, right, to destroy everything there. So those might. Yeah. Th that's what I'm saying. This eye of this might be right. Uh, it's part of. It could be very well. Could be part of. Uh, if you read yeah. those two last novels, it could and the Nameless have a prophecy too, which is the fact that. In order to defeat the nameless, the Jedi had to sacrifice a certain amount of Jedi, basically, <laughs> to beat him. So I'm words, more and more Harry Potter as you guys go on. Well, either way, pick those books up next <laughs> week. Um, also next week, also next week is Star Wars. We get the cover, the Sprouse cover that everybody wanted. IG Eleven and uh, <laughs> yeah. Nick Nolte. Yeah, I've spoken on a do back. <laughs> oh, what's the other thing called? Berg. Berg. Yep. Berg. Berg. Uh, Berg. Also, you get Berg. the the gray version and the other the the best car. The best car. Yeah, Dom. Best car. Uh, Dom. Come on. That's what they called oh. it. Oh. Yes. I know, but come on. That's, That's what, what they, they called it. How many did you order of this, Dom? Because they said best car. Five best copies. Because they said best car. What they call it? At least play. they were creative and said best car and didn't just say like platinum or like. I, I yeah. wish they would have shined it up though. Don't you wish they would have shined it up yes. a little bit? Yes. I wish it was a well, the whole thing should be foil. He Rubens is yes. Yeah, yeah I sell out with a second print. Give me a foil or something. If nice. you're gonna if you're gonna call it best car, you better put some like '90s chromium on it. Seriously. What if you didn't have any of that? What if you just got rid of the border? You threw the trade dress up at the top in the sky and you put the 50th anniversary down in the other corner. I would have been happier with that. Or you could have, you could have, you could have literally got all the the uh, '90s th that he was talking about and have his whole body, yeah, all in Bessar. Dynamic that forces, dynamic forces. Good. You could have done dynamic. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah Ruben. Dynamic forces. Let's go. <laughs> Somebody get a get get put together an exclusive cover. You, you want to get like an acetate hall, hall of foil so you can pull. Don't it off worry. Shiny version, not shiny when Mando version. drops, well, we're gonna it? probably get some exclusive variants. <laughs> uh, yeah, the be uh, better come out like dramatic forces. That's all I'm saying. Uh, you get the second second. Print either. You're getting a second print of 20. Why are we getting a second print of 20? Uh, the regular cover, uh, JJ, because it sold well, yeah, because <laughs> of the we, well, Elzar because, Man, yeah, because of what? Oh, yeah, because right. Elzar Man, apparently, Elzar Man, yep. Oh, and right. what else? And then there was the mm -hmm. mention of uh, Darth Bane in that one. No, no cheesy Crimson Rain where they did the incentive second print, though. So. I, really, I don't, I, I don't well, like when they do this. Personally, I, don't yeah. second print either. I think it's stupid with the black and white. I think they, and Pete, aren't you selling like green books and yellow books and pink books? What? Like fifth prints? <laughs> the, fifth, the Star Wars. Oh, remember? Yeah, the recall, well, those are the early ones. Yeah. Yeah, the early ones they yeah. just I bought one. I bought one of yeah. those. There you go, Ruben. No, I bought the green Thank one. You. There you go. All right. All the other books for Star Wars 20. What the hell are we at? 21? <laughs> 22. I wonder how long you're going to hold it. At 22, we get oh. one of the best card backs. Some dude from, uh, yeah, from some dude from Yevon. Rebel Commando. They gave us one of the worst. How's he not out of characters yet? <laughs> dude, <laughs> this really is close. the worst, man. They, we, you know, they were going to set us up with this now because it did so well. All you people, you ruin nice things. This is what we're going to talk about. Oh, because we originally were supposed to get one good last Sprouse cover, and now they gave us this Ray and. And it's not a bad cover, I guess. Which I assume is going to be done. Like when he releases it, typically, at least he releases a little bit more of this. He didn't even do this. This isn't even finished coloring in. So they, they short ended it. And they gave us five books. I do appreciate our man, uh, Leftover Zaggy, because Leftover Zaggy said if we if those are one in 25s for the next four that come out in April, we will riot. So Marvel did a little uh, backstepping and they said, uh, we've considered it and we're not going to do one in 25s anymore. They're just going to be open. Order. We'll so make the last buying variants. Make sure you order 125 percent of your yeah, list. They're not going. No, they said they're going to be over order. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, they took it off the one in 25, and so the next four are going to be open order, which will probably be, as we think, like a bad batch. All the things we guessed this last one was going to be, we're going to get them Fennec all. Shan. Yes, Fennec Shan. How many are there? Do we do we have a number? Four. 
There's four left. No, 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 no. Total. I'm saying the, the, the whole run. Oh, shit. I don't That's know. what I mean. Like, is it like a nice round number? Like, oh, there'll be 50 by the time we're done. 50 for no. the 50th. Like, that kind of thing. Or is it well, kind of funny ass random? One. 30 the 50th anniversary is, still is going to the 51st anniversary now. Yeah. You're, the Raza Wookiee. Oh, Astro, that Raza Wookiee looks good. I hope the Sprouts are worth it. Well, they're not 125s anymore, so they're open order. I do too. I hope, but I mean, like these are the assholes too that told us, you know, three weeks ago or a month ago that there's a paper shortage and they weren't going to do any reprints, and then they, mm. you know, then Vader 20 came out. Well, they're not going to do any reprints worth unless it's worth it to do to do yeah. it. Why not do 50 50 covers? I don't know what he's asking about. Wasn't able to order Star Wars 20 second print. Really? <laughs> All right. There's. Go ask. They might have some on back order you can get. Uh, that means he ordered 10. They're trying to get around. that Ray. The Ray and Kylo. Why you're. It's because they had to fill it with something. But why would they just give us. Well, because what was. What happened was they dropped this cover and then they announced the four. So, like, there's still. You got to think about FOC. There's This is a month and a half out, right? And in the next month and a half, nothing's coming out. So like I, all, all I mean is the the like, image oh. of the two of them together. Like why didn't they go with something more of like the when he you know that way rides of Skywalker? You know what I mean? Like why didn't they go something more? Because they gotta throw something better really quickly. This might not even be the cover. No, maybe the cover here. doesn't even exist. Maybe it's, it's just, just generic. generic. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. This this could be just a filler because they had to fill with something and they wanted to get well because they knew because everybody's like, what the hell? You're gonna take Fennec Shan. Yeah. I, I mean, I know what you're saying. You're saying it's generic, but dude still had to draw that. He still drew that cover. You're going to make it just waste his art. Like, we're not even going to sell that. We're just going to use it. Yep. All of a sudden, he has way. to do five. He was done, though. And then all of a sudden, he has to do five more covers. So, yeah, he had to throw something to fucking gather. And that's why it looks like he threw something to fucking gather. Hey, I mean, you know. Hey. So, there you go. At least like a Zori Bliss or somebody that's only in Rise of the Skywalker would have been nice. Or like, that would have been cool. Yeah, yeah. You want something to exclusive Lando, to that movie, not another uh, Kylo and Ray. They learn, and they learned that if you do that, you could sell a shit ton. I don't know why they you're you're absolutely right. They they botched that one. So whatever. They could have given you the Goonie knife. <laughs> That's it for FOC. We've talked to FOC. I think we've what? I said that would have been great, the Goonie knife. <laughs> yeah, they could just have the Goonie knife. <laughs> I would have loved it. Mm-hmm uh okay so that's it um that's what we got for foc where do we have next dom's got a quick pops thing i'm trying to rush through this because we have a lot to get in we'll do it quick i'm not eating all of it these came out a couple of weeks ago yep so apparently valentine's day they had a special fennec shan that Mm. never came out yet we don't know where it's from where it's going to be where it's going to drop valentine's day is over but that was shown (laughs) c3po regular and vip our Gi- uh, Giants game exclusives uh, coming in September. If you uh, buy the ticket for the regular man. game, if you buy for like a regular game, you get the uh, C3PO, the bronze. But okay. if you buy the VIP ticket, you get both. The black how, many, and- how many are they going to have? Do you know? What? the uh, Just, well, just the, uh, it depends. Is that stadium what? If it's Phil's 20? 50,000. 50,000? Shit. 80, something depending on. Does everybody get one? No. The black. Or is it like first like 5,000? Well, you have to get the ticket. Whoever buys the tickets, but the VIP ticket, you'll be able to get the black uh, version. Right. But usually both. they don't do. Usually when they give a giveaway at a, uh, a Tigers game or, or a baseball game, it's like, oh, the first three thousand dollars with a regular ticket gets. Well, out of uh, supposedly this was supposed to come out last April. year. Oh, last year, uh, actually, two maybe two years mm-hmm. ago because of uh, COVID when uh, the pandemic hit, it uh, kind of stopped the game, so they they didn't bring it out. So now they bring it out now, and it's pretty cool. I'm gonna get them in a secondary yeah, market. Right. I'm gonna is, is it for, is it three PO or is it yeah. Afra's? Uh, you know, no, it's three PO. Uh, that's three PO when he goes to the dark side. Maybe. Yeah, Do you see? Know. It looks like triple zero. I that's hope it is. Hey, 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 hey. You guys interrupted Dom when he was talking about he was gonna get me one. So let yeah, me so I'm gonna try to see if I can pick up one for uh, Jedi. <laughs> All right. All right. So now right. this came out the second piece of the. Uh, what the hell happened to the, the one point? in the middle, of the bottom? Wait, I'm gonna tell you. So. The Obi Wan Kenobi, Melting. the Phantom Menace, the second part of the uh, the Amazon exclusives that connect, they have like three pieces. Mm-hmm. This is dropping soon. It's actually uh, up on uh, Amazon right now. What the fuck is now it? the Vaders all represent Hoth, Mustafar, Mustafar, uh, Endor, and uh, oh man, Bespin. Uh, Bespin, thank you. Yeah, so. Wait. They came out. They're still up for pre-order in Walmart, and I bought all three. I mean, all four. I see 
Tiki Bob, uh, Tiki Vader. I see Honeycomb Vader. <laughs> I see. It looks like Redeemed Shogun Vader, Wicker Warrior Vader, and then Ice Ball. I, I like the White Vader was from. I see High Ground. I like the. They call the one in the middle High Ground. Yeah, I like the horse Vader. That's pretty high cool. Ground. But uh, they're still available. Anybody wants them? I Walmart. bet they are. There's the reason they're still available. available. That doesn't make any sense. Well, it's like the Artist series. They have like an Artist yeah. series that comes out for each. Uh... It's not for me. I get it, man. Star Wars fan. All Star Wars doesn't have to be for everybody. They, I mean, they make you happy, Dom. That's cool. What's with the one in the mirror? Is he looking in the mirror? What? Hmm. No, that's uh, Obi Wan. Uh, that's the second piece to the uh, the Phantom Menace uh, when he fights Darth Maul. Oh, oh, Qui yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. like, Gon Jinn is coming out soon. Uh, oh, so that's, that's the, the, that's the, the, yeah. the Force yeah. key. Ah. I get so, what you're saying. Also, yeah. keep it with Obi Wan Kenobi. They're doing a Funko Star Wars Obi Wan comic cover, uh, Funko Pop. So it's going to be based on the comic cover from the uh, Age of Republic. And they're also doing a Boba Fett one sometime soon, too, and a Vader. Did you, JJ? I thought you were talking about the Obi Wan stuff in the. Uh, you didn't talk about the two comics and how it's going to be like when he's younger and stuff like that going through. Dude, that was uh, on news last week. Okay. Yeah, last week. I don't pay attention to what you say. <laughs> All right, uh, this is pretty fun, cool. This is come like, a, like it's uh, like a poster of the cover in a oh. uh, bigger plastic with the. Uh, That's kind of like how they did with the black series, where they were doing the open boxes and stuff like that with the Scots. With it's kind of like the if if anybody knows about the Funko Pops, they have the music, uh, the uh, the record with the uh, the character from the the singer, and they have the record in the back, which is pretty cool. Hmm. That's, that's what basically. Um, what how is. do you get these Funko comics? Well, it's this is not a comic. It's just going to be a poster. This is coming out soon. Uh, oh, so it's not going to be a comic. It's just a no. Poster? It's just a poster in oh. in a in a uh, protective uh, plastic with the pop. Well, I was going to ask because McFarlane's doing those DC comics now that he's releasing with figures. That so I was wondering if they're going to start doing that again, like yeah. they're gonna start getting comics with toys again, which well, I'm on board for. I'm on board for that too. If eventually, if they do it for Star Wars, but. Funko is just doing this one. It, uh, a poster? Nah, I don't want a poster. See, where is he? I, that's what I asked. I specifically asked uh, JJ if he showed those books, and he said, yeah, he did it last week, but I, yeah, whatever. They're cool. I like the last ones, the, the later stuff. The early stuff looks kind of lame, but the last two covers look good, Wayseeker. Just, well, whatever. now this Funko ta uh, Target Con was last week. Mm -hmm. uh, it dropped on uh, on Friday, and there was a couple of Star Wars items, a red chrome Boba Fett, that I actually have over here from overseas, but has a different sticker. Okay. Uh, two keychains, Fennec Shan and Boba Fett. Okay. A uh, Mandalorian uh, p uh, fig pin, not fig pin, a uh, a pop pin. Mm -hmm. Him holding the child. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's about it. And actually a bag a, uh, that came out for uh, Bo-Katan, one of those little uh, book bag uh, bags that mm. came out. So this is just two days ago. Then. Just, just two days ago, yeah, Friday. Okay. It dropped. And uh, go to the next slide. No, oh, there you go. Sorry. Now, a couple of weeks ago, they hey, dropped these. The Vintage Series, you had uh, Mayfield, you had uh, Act Wolves, and you had uh, Costa Reeves. They came out for the Vintage Series. Uh, apparently, oh. check Walmart. These are Walmart exclusives. See if they're still up. Maybe doubt it, but... Uh, oh, shoot. Sorry. I was trying to see. It oh. looks like looks like Wolf might be on Death Sticks. Like, he might be sweating there a little bit. <laughs> Actually, Wolf, the other figure looks pretty cool. They did a good job. I'm just hoping that the hot toy now gets the face because they had the face uh, recognition with the uh, oh the the yeah. scan thing. Oh, right, next well, it's Friday too. So, all right, thanks, cool. Cool. And then okay, Amazon Bane. came out with a Cad Bane oh, uh, for for a Bad Batch. Uh, basically, it's the same scope as the. Uh, the regular Cad Bane oh. that came out, but different, uh, like armor, like the armor plate, and uh, yeah, I was gonna say he's got armor like, plate. Yeah, the hat looks different, but it's the same kind of uh, the same figure. But yeah, hat's a little smaller. Yeah, a little smaller, and it's the bad batch packaging, which is uh, pretty cool. The guns are also on uh, either That's side silver. of him, as opposed yeah. to both on the one side. Right. And this is a it. It might be still up on Amazon. It's an Amazon exclusive, so if you check Amazon, you might be able to get one. Huh. Just keep checking. And then here on the right, uh, Disney with their toy box figures that come out. Uh, they come out with a two-pack Boba Fett and a Stone Trooper. Uh, don't know when it's getting released yet, but it uh, was uh, shown last week. 
pretty cool. And also, we don't have it, but they're also coming out with the action, the uh, the uh, fleet, the, uh, the the toys for the kids, the action fleet, uh, the figures that have Slave One coming out. Well, nice. You mean Boba Fett's starship? Ship, and feet, no knees. <laughs> and no knees. Yeah, these are weird. Yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. And then, of course, the retro collection is coming out. They're with cool. I said weird. <laughs> so they're coming out with a two-pack. Uh, IG88 uh, IG and Dengar. Uh, the retro line. That's cool. Yeah. I was like, That's why cool. do they have a Peter Dinklage Dengar? Because <laughs> I'm looking well, at the he's tall. Ooh, that's he, he is that short? He's tall. <laughs> and also, the rumor has it the, the Ritual Collection is coming out for Obi Wan Kenobi as well. The uh, the line of that. It's those like all three and three quarters, quarters, right? What? Those are all three and three quarters, right? Yeah. The yeah. Uh, the size of the Vintage line, the original uh, yeah, Star Wars figures, non poseable yeah. ones, but like five points of uh, articulation. Yeah, leg, leg, arm, arm, and moved. And this came out for Sideshow Collectibles. It's the uh, the Siege of Mandalore, the uh -huh. from uh, Clone Wars season seven. Uh, this is a uh, statue, five hundred ninety five dollars for this uh, beautiful statue. How big is it? You know, it's a uh, 20, 20 inch. Bro, oh, this, this, once again, this is where I'm talking about relativity. You're talking about going on vacation for six grand or spending six hundred dollars on some statue, bro. All you right, get to see it when Mike buys it. Well, I've done it. I can't. I can't argue. I've, I've spent that much on a statue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you go on vacation like, or buy ten statues. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's like it, it looks yeah. nice. I get it. I I get what you're saying, but. I mean, it's just different priorities for different people. So, I, don't know. I mean, not that I'm going to go cosplay. You guys know my issue with that. So, and then last um, but not least, uh, I think it's the last uh, things we have some uh, Lego coming out. Uh, apparently, yeah, uh, Fanta Tracks. Uh, shout out to Fanta Tracks who posted this stuff on uh, IG. They're coming out with the the, the ship, the, the new uh, the N one the ship, the N one. Yeah. Yep, the N one. And they're coming out with the uh, Jabba's uh, Boba Fett's throne room uh, playset. Oh, that's cool. That throne room looks dope. I still yeah. don't understand what's with the pink haired lady, but she's just an extra. Remember, she's an extra. That's one of the dancers in the background. No, yeah. If did you see the thing for it? The little, uh, the, they do a little. There's a thing. There's like a what little cartoon TV thing, and she like they party, like when Boba Fett leaves. Oh yeah, yeah. she yeah, leaves. Yeah. They party. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what she's trying to say. I saw that. It was funny. Cleaning up or whatever. Yeah, it's kind of Why would you want to watch TV and listen to the stereo at the same time? Because I like to party. <laughs> so these are basically uh, they're dropping soon. You know, so I think actually the uh, the throne room is up. I don't know if the uh, the N1 is up yet. Yeah, yeah it's like March, I think. Yeah. So March 1st or something. That's cool. Does it have a back to tank? Yeah, if you know, who knows? Maybe. <laughs> no, that's upstairs. It does not have a back to tank. You know, there's a rumor. Oh. All kidding aside, there's a rumor that they're coming out of Boba Fett with the Bender tank for a sideshow. I bet somebody will do it. I'd be Ooh, surprised. Somebody, somebody, will, somebody will do it. Yeah, yeah. For six hundred dollars, though, I mean, fuck, man, I'm not paying that. Yeah, who, who's gonna buy? Yes. Oh, you know what? And guess who'll get it? Entertainer. This guy. I want to see the wet towel oh. street fight between Black Bay and uh, Boba Fett. That's what Scott, I want. Scott, is that what they're doing? So that's supposed to the pink haired lady is supposed to be <laughs> reluctant the, dancer. Yeah, what the dancer is. <laughs> yeah, the reluctant dance. Ah, hey, okay. Peter Marco, can you guys zoom in on that pink chick? I want to see cannot, her right here. I cannot. That is uh that's Look it up on IG. You'll see it on G. <laughs> really, man. I mean, like, hey, it's part of okay, whatever, man. I'm not gonna get into that. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, on that point, um, well that's it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. What, Look, what, what time are we at? Priorities. 44. Boys? All right, before we get to the first first appearance list, Ruben, do you got time to run around your room? Uh, Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just going to – I told Astro to pick. He chose statues, and that was before I was going to be live. So I already talked to Astro. I'm going to push that till next month, and I just wanted to go over something kind of small so that way you guys yeah. can see some more of my collection. Makes sense. Um, All right, cool. What I chose was soundtracks and other media. And I'm not going to bore you completely on CDs. I did, I do have this. I don't know if you guys ever seen this before. It's the anthology. When it came out, it was about a hundred bucks. If you do wind up going to go look for it, 
uh, there is a 80 page book in here. Make sure it comes with the book. And each one of these CDs, there's four of them, have Ralph McQuarrie drawings on them. And they're absolutely amazing. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Now, what came before CDs? I'm going to go back in time, by the way. So, what came before <laughs> cassette CDs? Tapes. Cassette tapes, back. right? Ah, so you have, you have Star Wars. I don't, I don't see you going 88 miles an hour. Well, let's see. <laughs> you have Star Wars, <laughs> Empire, and Jedi. Now, to my knowledge, the only one that actually has a book is Jedi's. These are very cheap, but make sure the Return of the Jedi books has that. Now, when I did say other media, and I was watching Pete's Whatnot today, he did mention that he was an audiobook fan. Yeah. Star Wars audiobooks. These all, these, each one of these has two cassettes, Star Wars Empire and Jedi. Two cassettes <laughs> on the inside. I'll show them to you. I'll show you one at least. See it? Oh, nice. Yeah. They each have that. This was way before anything else. Now, sticking with audiobooks, I'm going to try to run by these. Over. <laughs> I'm going to try to run by these really fast. I'll only show you one of uh, the set. Of course, they, they look like this, like Hair to the Empire and two. Okay. Then there was, of course, Dark Force Rising. Oop, can't see that. Dark Force Rising. And then you have Last Command. And Dark Apprentice. I have a lot, sorry. Did they not uh, do J Air to the Empire? I just I just went through Air to the Empire. Oh, did y'all? I missed the two part uh, one. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll show right. cover. I'll show you the cover again. Oh, that's why, because I didn't see the. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of dark. Uh, Jedi Search. I'll put I'll put it closer. Ooh, maybe I can. I there you it. go. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Tales of the Jedi. If you've never read that book. Mm. Uh, let's see. Courtship of Princess Leia. Oh, Truce of Victor. That's crazy. They made all these. Oh man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Champions of the Force. <laughs> Sticks wants to know if you have laser discs. I do, but that's a different. That's on my like <laughs> that's my a different video. Yeah, that's a whole. You other know what, meme. Nick? If I choose you next, it's and if you choose, video. if you choose I'll, that, that's I'm sure you. I'm gonna go back and watch when we talked about that uh, that vacation thing. And if Ruben was one of them to be smart in the comments about how expensive that is, and he showed us laser discs and <laughs> yeah, this, this is collected shit. over a number of years, though. Yeah, Come on. but I just, you know, he gets FOMO, so I know he overpays for stuff. So I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, the crystal star. I almost bought a set of laser discs. I bought. I do a have a set of laser discs. Okay, I, I do have a set. Of I did. I can't make fun of him for that because I do too. The dark saber. But you know why you have the laser disc for uh, for hope, right? Because Han shot first. Yeah, <laughs> uncut or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Uh, dark lords of the Sith. I'm almost done with the tapes, guys. And these are only the tapes. So far. Yeah, dude. Lord <laughs> of the Jedi. Oh, we're, we're almost there. We're almost to the right now. I have that. <laughs> uh, of course, Shadows of the Empire. Okay. Great. Uh, Rogue Squadron. Now, what was before tapes? A track. Uh, a track. All right, let's do me A tracks. I have three. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, oh. I have Star Wars. Yeah, that's cool. Star Wars in a blue cover. And the yeah. story of Star Wars. Which is basically they just go, hey, what this is what the movie's about, and then they just talk about it. You were that guy that put the penny and buy those twelve things for free and never paid them with the penny hey, in the Columbia House. Come on, we all did. <laughs> <laughs> there is an Empire one that I don't really <laughs> yeah. want to pay for on the A track, but you know whatever. I'm gonna look uh, at my albums next. I'm gonna start off with these little small story ones. These little. Tiny oh, yeah, record, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love tiny those. little record ones. Those are cool. I like those. Yeah, I love those. Those are great. Um, let's do Star Wars, of course. And then we have the story of Star Wars. Mm -hmm. A second one that was actually not open. There's, there's a little tears in it, but it's not open. <laughs> we have Empire. Mm. We have Jedi, and this one does actually have a book in it. So, again, if you do buy it, make sure you get the book. Now, one of the celebrations that I went to, they actually had this one. This is actually oh, sealed. Wow. I never opened it. So, they had this one, and they had this one. 
That's cool. And it has a reverse side like of. A, ooh, oh, that's cool. Yeah. 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 Now let me put these down real quick. I'm going to break stuff in my Star Wars room. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Take, That's take, all take I need to do. That's all I need to do. I, I want to do one honorable mention <laughs> before Columbia. we continue. <laughs> I'm not even over 40. That was, the, that was the comment that Dom made. That was uh, the uh, the this is one honorable mention. The only reason I'm bringing it up is because it's not technically the movie. It's the Super 8 Ken film. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's a little real. Cool. It only showed uh, certain scenes and there was no sound. But the last one hmm. on my show is this. Okay. This actually came with a, uh, this is a soundtrack that came with a list of all the people who actually played. Like it actually has first violin, second violin, all that stuff. Huh. It actually shows a book. I'll show you the book here in a second, but this is what it's inside. It's a reel to reel of the soundtrack. Real, and, the, real. <laughs> and the story of and story of Star Wars. That's the it old... actually has both. This is the old reel to reel stuff. Yep. Yeah. Now make me think of Airhead. Is... You're gonna it's gonna get burnt by the cigarette. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is the only thing that I actually haven't heard, and maybe one of the A tracks. The A tracks, sorry. Um, that's the only <laughs> thing I haven't because I haven't. I don't have anybody that has a reel to reel. There's none in Braille. I'm sorry. It's a soundtrack. But this <laughs> is the book. That, soundtrack in Braille. <laughs> this is the book that comes do, along with it. Do, do, do. So that's, that's cool. the book that comes along with it. I actually found this one at a Star Wars celebration, too. Again, Astro, I'm sorry. I'm going to get the statues next month on the actual um, on a video so we can get that played. And uh, uh, Darth Lopez. He called me out saying that he didn't believe I had uh, Plagueis in an action figure, and I do, and I already showed it to him, but I just wanted to make sure everybody knows in case they read it on the <laughs> comment. Yes, I do have it. Yes, I did show it to him. So. All right, that's my spiel. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, you, you you call out Ruben. He's, he's going to show it. No mini disc? Don't think they're nine deep. Anybody oh, remember mini discs? Nine deep. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Plagueis? You know I got your Plagueis right here. <laughs> I got your Plagueis. <laughs> I wonder if he's got old PC like uh, floppy disks of the Star Wars games. That would probably be I do. Nervous. I have an old floppy oh, yeah. disk version of uh, I think it was Tie Fighter or was it X Wing? I don't remember which. Did you ever play that Star Wars chess game? The one that had the extra laser disc in the middle. Yeah. Uh -huh. I've on Sega CD, baby. And it, and it bounced off. And other, oh man, I love that game. <laughs> hey, uh, Ruben, are they all the abridged versions of the Heir to the Empire or the ones I? Because sorry, he says the ones I brought back in the ones i bought back in the day on a road trip do the bridge version no as far as the ones that i read i read along with the book hmm. so there's there's two of them so it was a front and back on both so you ready jedi you can do pickups nine deep. nine deep <laughs> you ready? i used to uh, uh, yeah i guess i used to get all mine from the library and they would come in those like horribly like thick plastic cases that like would break apart when you opened them yes. anybody remembers those oh, anthony uh, do you guys want to do? Hey, chat. Do you guys want us to do pickups in a little bit of con recon, or do you guys want us to go straight into first appearances? It's up to them. Let's let them decide. And ask any more questions you have for Ruben for the thing. Uh, I think the full name is Ruben Luke. Ah, they would think you're the adopted or related son. <laughs> as, you as, as a theory. Oh, oh, JJ. Um, did you want since these yeah, actually fall Vegas. under other media? I know you called them out. Pick up, these pick film up. cells. Do you want to look at them real fast? Yeah, you don't have to take them off your wall. No, I mean it's literally, they're literally on on the nail. I might as well. While we're waiting to hear what people want to see, a couple, next, anyway, a couple, we're, we're, pick up. We're gonna couple. do con and pickups in a minute. We're gonna do con and pickups in a minute. Yeah, you oh, know cool. what? Let me see if I can. Uh, Is that all Empire? This one's Empire. I don't know if you can actually see. Okay. Can you see the back side of them? Yeah, it, I can see the two middle ones. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's cool. That, oh, that one's Empire, but this one down here, that this this one Empire was for my wife. She was like, "That's your favorite movie," and I was like, "Yeah." This one actually has the George Lucas six. Oh, huh. wow! Oh, because I got oh, to see the crazy. other. The, the I got to see the videos that didn't go out. Right. That's why. Because I'm like, I know these things, and then it's like, yeah. oh wait, <laughs> not everybody got to see what I got to see. Yeah, I got to say, yeah, we don't all get the like, grand like, tour there, Marco. Cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I was like, yeah, I've seen all this shit. I've seen that yeah, stuff yeah, before. Yeah. All right. That's right. awesome. All right, so let's go, Jedi. Talk about Jedi went out to the con. I didn't even know he's going to the con. 
Jedi went to a con in the great state of Hawaii, which is the second best state in the union after Michigan. Um, hey, how was it over there? I take offense to that. So yeah, yeah it was nice in, New Jersey, uh, bro. You know, <laughs> uh, really, it was, it was a it was a collectors expo, Hawaii collectors expo, mm. that me and my wife went to. She had an appointment downtown, so we went to uh, the Blaisdell after her appointment. And I'm telling you, uh, we are happy. Hawaiians are happy that those things are back because we have some of the strictest COVID protocols probably in the nation and where it's good to see that we're getting to do stuff like this again. And let me tell you, the people were out. That place was packed. Uh, I took a few pictures posted on Instagram. That was just right when we walked in the, uh, make sure the, you're finding Jenna Johnson 22 on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, there was, there was everything there, a lot of comics, uh, it wasn't a comic con, but there were a lot of comics there. There were a lot of Funkos, a lot of action figures. Uh, so it was kind of fun because it's the first, uh, first time I've been to something like that with my wife. And, uh, so she walked around and looked at her stuff. She got a little bored quick. So she started hanging around with me. And so we're walking around and we're checking out the comic booths and she's kind of just like, so I'm trying to explain to her cause she's like, are there any deals here or whatever? And I'm like, well, if it's up on the wall, trust me, they know what they got, and you're not probably not going to get any deals. If it's up on the wall, uh, you're, you're not going to, it's not a find. Uh, I explained to her what the word digging meant because she actually said it first. She goes, All these people are digging in these boxes. I'm like, Yeah, it's called digging. That's exactly what they're doing. Us <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so, nerds, we come up with real cool co words there for yeah, what we that, do. That's my favorite pastime. It was fun watching her experience that because. Uh, so if she didn't believe me at first, she's like, uh, so we were looking at this wall and I'm like, well, just pick one of those comics up there. And she's like that one. And I said, that's about, that's probably about a 3000, maybe $4,000 comic. She's <laughs> like, no way. It was a nine, six. And I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah. Easy. What so was it? it was the, it was the Sith versus versus Jedi variant. The one oh, that, the, oh, the oh, yeah, yeah. Force really? variant. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, She's like, that is not a three thousand dollar comic. I was like, so I said, sir, would you pull that down? I just want to show. I'm not going to buy it. I just want to show my wife the price tag. He's like, yeah, they're all very. So she showed it, it was three thousand dollars. I was like, see, she's like, oh my god. So then she starts. She knows I look for Star Wars, so she starts digging in the boxes for me. So because there was like there was so many people, we had to practically wait in line to kind of go through the boxes. And I'm not a real digger anyway, but. So she would show me this stuff. She starts showing me a lot of Spider Man. I'm like, no, nah, I don't want Spider Man. Let's just listen. <laughs> Uh, is spider-man star, star wars, wars so, yeah <laughs> so we ended up really there weren't any deals but it got a oh, little it was a little tiring because like i said you, there were so many people it was very crowded waiting and waiting to go through boxes so we went through a couple real quick and the ones that we could find were already marked and they weren't any real deals but so i started looking at the toys here are a couple of things i got because i like the older stuff black series stuff uh, I like the older Funko stuff. You guys know that too. So a couple of, I don't know. I probably didn't pay too much below market, but maybe a little below market. You got to remember Hawaii is expensive to begin with. So mm. a deal in Hawaii might not be considered a deal back in the mainland. I mean, well, this is what it is, everything's but, imported. Yeah. So I got the uh, orange series. Yeah. Uh, Strong nice. Trooper. Yep. Orange line. Uh, mm. I paid uh, about 35 for this, $35. Yeah. Okay. Hey, yeah. Uh, I like those older ones. Box was, the box looked like it was in nice shape, too. Yeah, the box is in pretty good shape. Uh, that's one of the reasons I went ahead and got them. I didn't try to. This one, I paid $20 for the Blue Stripe Chewbacca. Mm, chewy. Yeah. Uh, mm. A little rough up here, some fogging or something, but yeah, 20 bucks for that. I was like, yeah, I'll take that. And then I know Not everybody's bad. talking Obi-Wan. I went ahead and picked up. I paid thirty dollars for this, the, the blue light. Obi Wan, yeah, uh, nice. black series. Cool. That was it. We stayed there about two hours or so. It was a lot of fun. Like I said, the main thing for me is I was just so happy to see people out and getting to experience things like that again. Because I just made the comment last show that we Hawaii used to have like at least two cons a a, a year, and we haven't had any. That's the first one to my knowledge, and you know since COVID started. So. We we're really happy to see that in Hawaii. People were out in groves and mm. smiling and digging and just walking around having a good time. So thankful. That's not That's bad. It. Nice. All right, Dom, you got anything? Yeah. 
Of course. Well, first things first. <laughs> the of course, package that, of course uh, yeah. Tom bought some. Ah, of course, Tom. Yeah, he got some of those little minis. Little minis. And uh, Marco, thank you very much. And yeah. also, uh, Steve Horn. Steve Horn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah, body yeah. comics, you know. Uh, there you go. We'll eventually, see. maybe give these out. Uh, eventually, uh, down the road. Is that yeah. a full set? It is. Yeah. It is a full set. I know how to yeah. get. I know how to do a full set. I haven't told Steve yet, but there's a way to get a whole set. So I got my yeah. full set. I was able to pick this up. <laughs> you <laughs> haven't told him yet. No, because he's selling them. So like, they just play some game or something. I don't know. I watched this thing. It's kind of interesting. He was giving away slabs. Like if you got a whole set together. Yeah. It's kind yeah, of cool. it, was a, it was a cool idea you had. Yeah. Whoever got the first set kind of messed up because they went for the Rogue One thing. I would have gone through that Invasion Zero. Whoever got that Invasion Zero got a steal. So yeah, the Invasion mm -hmm. Zero that actually was a good book. It's a good yeah, book. Yeah, a really good book. Uh, what is that? The white, white Boba Ooh, Fett. I think Big Pin. This is a, a Disney uh, Park exclusive. Nice. There's also a uh, R2 with uh, Grogu. I didn't get it yet. I'm eventually going to pick it up. Huh. Get this. And then I got this a couple of weeks ago. This was sent to me by Oldie Yoda. Check him up on uh, Instagram. He really yeah, cool. cool. That? He What's sent this mini? to me. Uh, his little mini uh, hmm. figure uh, pieces of art. Yeah. You can put it in the wall. You know, Interesting. Cool. Does he make them? Yeah, he, he makes, makes them. them. Oh, yeah. okay. He has a whole bunch of different ones. And, uh, Interesting. Real cool guy. So that's actually a little figure in there, right? That's just yeah. not painted. That's actually that's a, little a little figure, figure in there. Yeah. yeah, he's painted. It's just a... No, I mean, I thought, you know, how, how they oh, do it. I, 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 no, it's just a painted yeah. thing in there. It looks like one of the Michael figures that he put in there mm. and made the little backing. It's pretty cool. Interesting. And then last but not least, I bought a lot of uh, Star Wars Issue 5 uh, foreign editions. There was four of them that came, and uh, I picked them up. I got it for a cheap price. We'll start off with the uh, the German. Why number five? I don't know. They just had them. I just seen them. <laughs> I know that's just, just, there was a reason behind why you like number five. Number five is my favorite number, though. It is. All right, there you go. Um, the UK. Okay, got the pence. The Greek. Okay. And last but not least, the Italian. So, <laughs> not cool. Got it for a cool deal. Pick them. That's it. Pick up. You know those last two didn't say Star Wars on them, right? Yes, it did. Star no, Wars. they didn't. That's not what they said. Stellari. <laughs> this is, all right. That definitely does not say Star Wars. How do you know? Because I, I speak agree. Greek. All right, what next up. Say, then? Tell me what it says. What does it it's say? Some, some shit about like the... The war in the universe of skies or some shit? I can't remember, dude. I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, it's not Star Wars though. Um Yeah, hey, don't don't say I read Greek did and you then something? not read Greek. Oh, I, I'm tired, <laughs> I just want to get over with. It takes a while to think, man. Yeah, I haven't read it in a while. What do you uh do you have anything or no? I didn't pick up anything. I sold the stuff instead. But I will say what was I gonna say? I don't have anything. I had something, but oh, I can't remember. Nothing at the moment. Nothing. Okay. All right. Um, I will do a full con report on Wednesday, probably, and we'll do some of the con stuff because I did that. Kim guy, I actually did an interview with. It was really cool. He's got a Kickstarter going off, and wow. I mean, the only thing I was disappointed with was I did ask him a question and it wasn't on camera, but later it was like because he was the guy who shot like all the stuff through um, Power of the Force, like all like all the setups, all the displays you saw, all anything for any of the figures mm -hmm. for Kenner, he did. So like he would set it up. So I was like, "Where's all your tubs, bro?" Like, cause that's a lot of loose figures. You know what I mean? And you know he's getting older, so of course I want to get to some of those tubs. He said that he already got rid of most of them. Now he's just got a stack and does some other stuff. But he he put up a good thing, and we'll talk about his Kickstarter. His Kickstarter is kind of cool. You guys will probably want something like that. I will show you a couple things I brought. We'll do a longer one because we're trying to get you know we got the rule here on Star Wars. At least your Star Wars, and only do five. So here we go. Uh, pick this one up. Uh, well, I didn't pick this one up. Pack. Somebody delivered this to me. I didn't pay for it, so whatever. Comic pack with um, 81. Gets out of the Sarlacc. Now I'm going to do a little trick. Uh, we're going to give one of these away because Daggett's Comics, because he likes us and we say a lot. Uh, he had a couple extra ones of these, so we'll give one of these away eventually, probably next week or something like that. Because JJ did this, and I think it's hilarious. Um, <laughs> I like and Daggett still has a couple of these if you're trying to buy those or those 20s, and he's got them cheap. So go to daggettscomics.com. But this, uh, I thought this was hilarious, so I picked that up. 
Um, and then uh, I did pick up a whole line of accessions, but we'll talk about this. Right? Uh, I this I got this for a dollar. And for people that don't know why I bought this for a dollar, everybody knows why I bought this for a dollar, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know why. Yeah, because it's not this. This isn't why you buy it. This isn't why you buy it. And uh, Mm -hmm. this is why you buy it. For this. It's the first appearance of Revan. Exactly. Straight uh, from John Jackson Miller himself. I mean, yeah. It's the first. (laughs) But either way, for a dollar, I figure you can't pass up on that. I know people, I don't care, a cameo, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it is, and, uh, it is what it is. I didn't pick anything else up, but, uh, <laughs> but I didn't pick anything else up. But, uh, Damn, man. Oh, da- <laughs> dude, so cool. I got to tell you, man, like there's a lot of people we'll talk about on Wednesday. That dude's really cool, really freaking cool. Larry Houston, uh, the X-Men guy from that did all the illustrations for the comics, really cool. Yeah, uh, cool. So is the Kim guy that does the Star Wars stuff. We'll go more over that. I'll give you a quick, quick breakdown, though. We set up. The, it was a tough day. I'm actually still kind of sore. The setup is 10 o'clock in the morning on Friday. Show opens 4 or 5. I don't think we really even got set up. Um, but it was, like Jedi said, I think that was the best Friday we had at that show. Um, yeah, I know, right? Dude, so, he's so cool, and he's strong, too, dude. Like, you know, he's got that old strength. Like, he gave me a pound right off the bat. I was like, oh, you got that type of strength, huh? You like 90 and still got that old man strength. That's pretty good. Um, we'll break the con down a little bit more, but it was really packed. I mean, it just was fast. The, the prices were actually good across the board. Um, and as far as what we sold, we sold a little bit of everything. I think we did like five and a half. We didn't, I don't think. We went through five and a half, five long boxes and a short box. Uh, then the dollar stuff. We went through almost an entire short box of like, Prices mark between five, between five dollars and let's say I think that box had like five to twenty five somewhere in there, and then I think ten wall ten slabs that were at least nine four or better, mm-hmm. and then probably ten more books that were on the wall that weren't more slab. I mean, and it was everything. It was crazy. We sold everything from Star Wars to like people were kind of crazy. I sold like uh, they're really into the Star Wars Marvel run because people are overpricing them like three to five dollars some people have 10 on like the non-key issues and we just did i had a run where we pulled all the keys and then i left all the rest of it for a dollar you know like Mm -hmm. pull whatever you want and people were really excited about that because that's kind of cool and we had like the variant prices on them and just got rid of them because we got a couple extra ones so that went pretty well but yeah that's it that's all we got there uh the con as a whole is great uh we didn't put most of our good stuff up till the doors open because I like to do that, and and we ran into a lot of people. By the way, apparently we ran into some people that haven't know that we moved over here. Yeah, Ron Simmons is, is the truth. He really is the truth. <laughs> uh, so that was really cool to hear some stuff. You guys are you guys are pretty popular, apparently. Um, D Wayne, I think you gave a card to somebody because they commented on one of the videos that they were handed a card. So I got to imagine it was oh nice you cool yeah yeah I mean we had some fun. We sold some of those mini comic packs there too and everything else. Yeah, we had a lot. We there was a there was a kid who was Cad Bane. I think I put him on my IG. I asked his dad if he could post it. We put him on IG. Dude, this kid's Cad Bane outfit was legit. And then my heathen showed up on the second day, uh, VIP style. You know, came through the kitchen. And the first thing they did was go up there. They didn't want to be in the thing. But uh, one of them dressed up as Mandalorian. The other one dressed up as a princess. They went up into their little thing. Uh, what's the one? Let it snow. Let it snow. That one. Um, oh, yeah. oh, but they sat down. Yeah, they sat down and they're watching. And the Cad Bane kid. The kid probably, I would have to say, was like six. He had the hat and everything. Walks in. He's like turned around. He was at, he like had the lit. Apparently he had like the, the hat down. He was holding it. And then he went to the crowd and turned and pulled the blaster on him and everything else. <laughs> That's cool. He, from what I, my kids were like, that kid got robbed. He should have won. But they gave it to some anime thing. Uh, Moon Sailor Girl or whatever. Which, oh. I was gonna say, Star Wars Visions? I don't know, man. You gotta, <laughs> the problem is the five hundred first is there. The five hundred first is there. You got to come out. They did a parade with the whole five hundred first. You got to represent. If Cad, ba- if that kid's coming out like Cad Bane, I was disappointed in our five hundred first. I'm gonna talk to Leaky Trooper. He needs to have a sit down. You don't let that happen. That kid came out Cad Bane. He better come. He should have come with a championship. So, um, but yeah, no, it was cool. It was a great con. Like, like uh, Jedi said, like that's our first. It's a mid sized con, not huge, but it's not small. A yeah, two dayer, and it. It was pretty good. It was, it was damn good. People, the only thing I'll say is this: it, 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 what intrigued me about that con was people weren't digging on the floor. 
People are a lot lazier now than they used to be. And maybe it's because of the internet. We can't maybe. get up. <laughs> well, I, we, we give them chair. Dude, if you're at my booth, we roll out chair. <laughs> Ask the people that show up. I don't care, man. I'll put chairs out there. So they can I'll get you down. a little slider. I'll get you whatever you need. You, you God will to pick yourself up. Get them little kneelers. We'll help you out. Kneel we'll, we'll do the whole thing. <laughs> uh, we'll, we also got some people, so we'll have some reports. Dan's going to give us what he did there, too. He did he a lot of Star Wars stuff. Uh, we went through his his thing a little bit. Uh, a guy named James on Wednesday, he's going to give some like 50-cent diggers that he went through. He actually wouldn't show us half the box he went through, a uh, short box, because he didn't want to he wanted to show us stuff, but then he didn't want to show us. Like he's like, no, this stuff's too good. I can't let it get out on the internet. So, but we'll let you see some of James's stuff, um, and then uh, there will be some more stuff. I'll probably pull out my top ten polls and show you guys that stuff on Wednesday. Yeah, do it on Wednesday. Uh, I do not serve Grey Poupon in my booth, my, dude. My booth. <laughs> did you see the picture of my booth? That booth wasn't even set. We forgot, dude. They let people in. We didn't even have our wall set up yet. Um, uh, I mean, like, but it was so good that within the first 20 minutes, we covered table, gas, Red Bulls, the coffee we bought for somebody else. So, like, all of our expenses. Sneakers. The extra sneakers. Nice. Oh, yes. Man. I didn't I didn't charge <laughs> the new sneakers. Did they cover your extra new that was funny. Dude, you know how many people ask me about the sneakers? They're like. <laughs> That's on? good, though. That means they're watching. They pay. Exactly. Yeah. It was good. Nobody asked me after pair three. What do you got? It's ten to dude. It was ten to nine, really thirty at night. Ten and a.m. to nine thirty at night, including loaded. So you telling me? I also wore. This is another trick for you people that are doing shows and I, I that are getting older now, like me. I put on the uh, compression pants now, like the the workout ones, and it saved. It, I swear to God, it saved the hell out of my hips and my in my legs, man. <laughs> I, now my pants kept falling down all the time. People were laughing because it like. Smooth you in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my belt is going to hold my tight. Mm. But what do I care? Because it's like, work it out. they were yelling at me about that. And I was like, well, I don't, there's kids here. I can't have my business all, you know, like they're pants, but they're very tight. And you're, 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 hey, <laughs> like, you're like biker shorts or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, come on right now. Like this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, take off. Yeah. Leotards. Yeah, yeah. Look at you ready to perform in the Nutcracker. Yeah, no, it's like that. Yeah, it's it's like on the Broadway. Got, you got these little, I mean, they're good. They're good. They give you a little sculpting or whatever. But you're yeah. going to fight crime in those? They're slick, but they help out. I mean, look, man, they just help. I'm just telling you, man. I, I stood up. I don't think I sat the whole time from 10 to 930, and that's with a loadout between the shoe changing and those i was good to go and i'm not young anymore dude like look i just ain't young anymore i know you guys are probably laughing <laughs> yeah you don't get the real show but uh yeah <laughs> i did buy about sticks that's not the problem the problem i had a belt but like when you wear your belt and then there's that loop that you're normally at and then you put on the compress the compression short it's like a girl. Is it a girl? Is that one? You're on the last loop. Is that what you're trying yeah. to say? <laughs> Wait, yeah, Danny Glover. Oh, yeah, the the hey, you wear a girl. <laughs> and then like you can't tighten anymore. And then you put these things on. I didn't realize. And plus, I, you know what? I don't eat during cons because it's gross. In my, it's something with me. I get it. I'm weird. But like, I don't want anybody touching my books or touching any books if they've been licking their fingers or touching food. I don't. I if I see you eating, <laughs> I will not come to your booth. I just won't. If I see you pick your nose, eat your chicken wing, oh, yeah. garlic, and uh, parmesan. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. yo, you're do you, not. Uh, do you have, what? Do you hand out wet wipes before uh, people are allowed to go through your books? <laughs> <laughs> I no, but you just give them an idea. Exactly. Yes. It's, not that, it's not that serious. Yes. That's the one Good thing that. Back. Just take one. That is the one thing I'm going to miss is like, well, go ahead. at least giving you a little bit of distance because like you guys come on. Don't act like y'all aren't at cons. There's people who stink there and who yes. hygiene yes. is disgusting. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You joked on, but yeah, I've, I dude, there was some, I, I was screaming. I was like, who the bleep? It's funny. You mentioned garlic Parmesan. I was like, who the <laughs> ordered a garlic Parmesan pizza? Like, what are you doing? It's a cop. Stop, man. Just stop. You can. But there, there's, there's a difference between, uh, you know, the the guests, I guess, of the show and then the cell. You're like, I'm not going to buy books from a guy eating. Like, that's, I'm just not. Yeah. Listen, I've been he's to not cons through his box. And there's been people eating big bowls of rice and stuff like that. And you're sitting there and they're like chopping away. And it's like, 
Oh, damn. <laughs> there was somebody who at one time had a half. Ha- if I, 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 I find out whoever the person was that was drinking some type of fluid and then left whatever it was, like if it was coffee or whatever, that cup by our boxes, gonna... I find you, you're, you're banned. You're out. You're done. Find whatever Con Marco's at and just plop down in, at his table. No, there was, large, one, there was one. There was one. There was one. Extra pepperoni. Somebody <laughs> had. It was a bag of fries. I got to find these pictures. There was an orange in the middle of the floor for about 30 minutes and everybody would walk around it. And then there was another one where somebody had like, they, they had chicken on their salad or what? Why the, what? Look, I appreciate that you're trying to be healthy, but if you got a chicken salad, you just spilling that shit all over the floor. That's gross because now people are tracking that shit, man. What are we doing here? I know it's a rant. Okay, let's move right, on. Enough with the rant. I the forgot. Rant. I didn't have one pickup. <laughs> okay, Pete, give me your pickup. It's uh, I have it right here. I didn't get to wear it last week. This is my Fet Club. Oh, I got oh, it last week. Oh, yeah. Fet nice. Club. I wanted to show it this that. week because I wore the uh, Quiet Riot Still Metal. waiting on mine. No, last week. All right. Oh, I did yeah, give guys, out some. Of those you'll get yours. Too. They'll get there. I know. If you see me, oh, well, I, I, I probably handed out a dozen pins too. I do have a pickup now. That I think hey, about definitely. It, I I'm gonna need cards. Oh, well. I'm gonna need some cards. I'm going to a con. Nice. On March twelfth today. Oh, see, the reason why the cards are cool is because you can just like nap the thing and then you can get on the renovation or whatever. So here we go. Uh, we'll talk more about it on Wednesday. Don't worry, there'll be more ranting. JJ, do you have something or no? I do, but I can't get to it. All right, let's go. We're going to first. I'll post it on IG later. Somebody everybody take a look at it. Make sure you're checking out his IG. Um, It's a new insider subscriber cover. Came yesterday. Yeah, I gained belly. I got no butt, too. I mean, it's like, yeah. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Tell them, Joe, please. All right. Go ahead. The older you get, Uh your belly gets a little bigger, and the belts don't do anything because I got no. Suspenders. You're telling you suspenders all the way. You like Mork and Mindy suspenders. One whole leotard. (laughs) That's why, honestly, yeah. I'll be honest. That's, that's I always wear my <laughs> whole body <laughs> all the way up and cover the face, like one of those. Out. Pretty much my tuxedo. Maybe it's me. I guess I just gain in both areas. It, it, it oh, just counterbalances, so I don't fall. All away. right, let's go. We're done. <laughs> okay, so IDW characters that have survived and died in phase one. So, uh, now, uh we didn't get to review this before the show, but if you click on a name, it should take you to the proper link. I don't know if anybody reviewed that. Yeah, do that. Not gonna I didn't do it through PowerPoint. I did through. Oh, you so, can't do that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Pull it up, Pete. All right. That's it. Right. I can you go through it. I you can go it. through it slide by slide if you want. Yeah, we'll go through slide by slide. These are all okay. like ones we can cover that are live. Yeah. So these we got all our survivors that are now. Then these are only people that appeared first or had first appearances, at least in my book of first appearances in IDW comics. So they I'm are not disappointed. Not everyone will be here. We will do Marvel next week. These are just the IDW characters that were. Yeah. Is anybody there else first. disappointed about what they did to Porter Angle? Like that's the out of all the guys they changed around from like the the um, sketch art or anything else. Peter, you try to yeah. pull it up. I try to see if it will go. All right. Oh, that's how it would have to go. I don't know. I kind of the more and more I think about it, though, I kind of like the grizzled like Lord of the Rings look. <laughs> like, it well, looks different did. than what I envisioned, but yeah. Well, we showed it. He was on the better. cover, and we showed sketch art of him where he was more like sleek, like you know, Jason mm-hmm. Bourne slash like you know, like uh, I don't know, like uh, like Steven Seagal when he was sleek. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not Steven Seagal. <laughs> Look, that, now they look like Steven Seagal at this point with a beard. <laughs> yeah, he looks like current Steven Seagal. I, have <laughs> I, I can try. I can try. Right, there you go, Pete. Try it. All right. All right. What are that we trying to do here? Did you, over? did you take over? I did. All right. All right. So first one see? It was seamless. First one is Lula Talasola. So if you click on her name, it should take you to her slide. Yeah, ah, there we go. Look at that. It worked. Hey, I, uh, but oh, I got to right. backtrack now. Yeah. Nope, I got a oh, link for the back side. That's what the red arrow is. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. yeah. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it works. We'll see. I didn't uh, check that. But anyways, what chase? So Lula, Lula is now her master is Cantum Psy, but she also learns under Torben Buck, and he's the one that knights her, I think, if I remember right. Yeah. That's so, who Wait. I don't know. Right. Or does he knight court? Doesn't knight her. He knights. Doesn't knight she doesn't her. get knighted. She doesn't, like get, knighted. knighted. She she doesn't get knighted? I thought she did oh, get knighted. Because she because in the book in Horizon, her and uh She's supposed to have maybe vanished, but what's her name didn't feel the vanishment, and they're having they're going to have the Romspringer in the third series, in the third, <laughs> the you know, like because it's going backwards. Just real quickly, how High Republic is working? It's going to go to the past 
for the next year and a half. So we're going to have all pre stuff, mainly dealing with masters and knights up to this point, up to this adventures one and high Republic one. And then in like two years, we're going to go forward from adventures 13 and from mm. high Republic yeah. 15. And it will mainly be about these Padawans is what's going to happen. Her in, in particular, she's going to do a round So yeah. Interesting. Okay. I agree completely. And these, especially these star, the star hopper was a ship in which they were trained. So you'll see the term star hopper Padawan a lot in this rundown, but that's what it means. Mm. So the ship was called the star hopper and that's where Yoda and Torben Buck and Cantum Psy and um, Taba Khan or whatever his name is all trained these group of Padawans. And they'll train another group of Padawans because we saw them come in at Adventure 13, which are all the younglings. So uh, I put the relationship with Zine down there because obviously they're in a relationship. I made that slide before I read 13. So there's really no question mark to that. <laughs> Although it is kind of weird. The whole like Jedi attachments thing apparently doesn't apply anymore in the High Republic era. Not it's not like they're being like super secretive about it or anything. Or whatever. Yeah. yeah That's yeah, why yeah, she yeah. didn't accept her knighthood, right? Right. Because... That's exactly why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But normally you wouldn't even be able to be in the order even as a Padawan, right? Oh. I don't know. Well, maybe well, they just let you do back. it while you're still. But we also saw in Clone Wars there was a whole Obi Wan, yeah, like kind 100... of on the sly. But what's her name? And yeah, yeah, there's been a lot of. There's the whole Voss thing. So. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't like this. It wasn't like where you got Rom Stringer, but like it's still. Well, he he still... was an undercover lover. Do you guys, Joe? You got the B cover on that, right? That's the cover. I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll get to that. I put the A and the yeah. B down for two different gear. I'm trying to not talk about it, but. Yeah. So hit Z in for me, Pete. Zine. So Zine is not really a Jedi, <laughs> but she's a Force user. So, and she does fight alongside the Star Hopper Padawans. We see her in a couple novels and in the comics. Um, I the, one thing that let me down about her was kind of the relationship with Crix, or lack thereof. Like, I I felt that didn't get a very good I ending know. for what it kind of built into. I don't know if anybody else felt the same about that. I do. I agree. I think it was disappointing yeah. with what they did with that. Can I address this one thing by sticks real quick because we were talking about the no attachment thing. Actually, if you all recall early on with Ava uh, Geos and man, there was talk about it. I think it was in one of the books. They were, it was frowned upon, but overlooked. Like they specifically mentioned that in the book that they, there was the rule of no attachment, but they kind of, as the Padawans were training, they understood and were kind of laxed on it, but would expect you before you get knighted to remove that attachment. Um, just so you know, sticks to clarify hmm. that point. Okay, sorry. All right, no worries. And one interesting thing about Zine's character, she was kind of born into this cult, I guess you could call it, of the Elders of the Path, which apparently hate Force users. Oh, or believe right. the Force that... is kind of like an evil thing. Yeah, so she had to hide her powers all through her childhood. So that's why she never went discovered as a Jedi or was never sought by a way seeker or anything like that. So but they were also on both sides of it. Cause they were the ones that kind of broke the rod for mm -hmm. the levitator and hid where the levitator was. Yeah. Leveler. Yeah. Leveler, yeah. <laughs> levitator. The rod, the lever, the lever of a rod. Yeah. 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 That thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So Brad. Farzala is next. So he's our next survivor. Same book. Again, high Republic adventures. Number one. Very First familiar appearance. book. Same book. You can no see a second. Yep. Yeah. Like that. Obertuck Glee is his master. Uh, again, he's also on the Padawan. Now, I don't know. They never really defined age, but he kind of seem, always seemed like the older of the Padawan group that we go by. So mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody disagrees okay. with that. But Chops. he also I seems to be the one that takes the lead most often. It's the facial did hair you, makes you think you, he's older. Ruben off this last one, 13, did you assume that he was just a little bit older because of the we've been working for this for years and you've been wanting to be it for more years than me? It was a comment he made to Lula this one. So I think yeah. those two are really close in years where maybe Court isn't as close to them. In years. I can't tell if Quartz is younger because of his size or if he's still like him. Or... Sticks, is that a Monty it's Python a reference? Because <laughs> that's how I read it. Made of wood. <laughs> and I would think, <laughs> Look uh, Joe, real quickly, I think our theory here too is, and just from reading all the material and everything is that this group, as we've said since the beginning, the adventures kind of is more like this is the future. We kind of, because when they're yeah. going to go into three and everything else, it's kind of the future. So it's not just yeah. diversity. It's just that these characters have been set up for it. Yeah. 
Um, in a way. I really think they're kind of doing a three, a focus thing on this where they focus on the Padawans and their upbringing. And then there's a reason most of them got knighted at the end, I think. And then, you know, you look at the second round is probably going to be about their masters, you know, so like you'll see some Cantum Sai, you'll probably see some Torben Buck when they were young, all those guys like 150 type years ago. You know you're going to see Porter Engel 150 years ago. And then yeah. then they'll swing back and phase three will be those Padawans from phase one kind of becoming. You're going to see Sav. You're going to see that backstory. You're going to see Porter. I mean, we know mm -hmm. that for sure. Um, yeah. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Next up is one of my favorites, Court. Oh. You want to know. So, I think he had one of the best stories. I don't know if anybody's going to I love this character. I don't anybody I talk to, nobody doesn't like court. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not, Even though he like never speaks basic. <laughs> well, I, he kind of does, doesn't he talk in the novels? No. But they translate it, right? He does say he says one thing. I can't remember what he yeah. says. It was me. He says something to some people, but they, I think it's translated. I don't think it's I like am Groot. His basic language. <laughs> I am Cork. <laughs> More or less. I am Boba Fett. But, no, no, Wayseeker. I'm not saying that. No. Yeah. You're going to see Rock this in comic. Down. I know. You're going to see the two <laughs> guys in comic. I, I don't know. It, it's just not that important. Like, yeah. I mean, how important it, We can talk about it later, but how important is. Well, they got a lot, a lot of ground to cover. You you know, we'll be, phase two, I'm sure we'll see characters we've seen before as their younger selves. And I'm sure there'll also be brand new characters we haven't seen at all. But They're not going to be all people to use. So, this is a book I spent a thousand dollars on. This is a book I said not so much. Go check out what they're selling for because the one Joe said still doing well. That one you can get for under ratio yeah. and under price. Wait, which I mean, one? The, the, the cookbook. The fucking cookbook. Oh, he didn't say the cookbook. Yeah, that's what he said. He's bake he's talking bake off. That's the what I'm talking about. Like yeah. the bake off or the oh oh. Now but, I see the bake off. I, I saw the, the other book bit. sucks. The book does suck. It, 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 yes, there's two characters that will probably show up in a storyline someplace, but the book still sucks. Go ahead, JJ. Sorry, I shouldn't. Get oh it. no, you're fine. Uh, yeah, so fine. Court still is High Public Adventures one is his first appearance. Um, so he was trained by a lot of different people though. He was brought up under Sav and Maz Kanata, or with us who discovered him. And he was trained by Yoda. Uh, and uh, he's actually Tekaban Pack was his was his direct master, I guess. Uh, and the mask is to control emotions and strength because this, despite their size, his race is incredibly strong. Supposedly, we like Sa Do we like Sav because she is his master, or does she seem kind of cool too? She seems like well, she's repelled an entire Night Hill. Was it Cloud or Strike Team or whatever on her own? So that was pretty yeah, awesome. Yeah, badass, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. I was just, I was just checking yeah. if it's like a cool by so, like you guys are cool by association. And there's like the mother aspect of to court and stuff that makes an endearing character, I guess. Nobody had anything for that. You missed that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Next up is Bibbs. So Bibbs is a bit of a mystery. I still assume Bibbs is alive because he's alive at the end of High Republic Adventures 13, but he never really shows up anywhere. <laughs> Mostly as a background character. Mm hmm. I mean, you don't see him that much. Um, and yes, he, he has a relationship to Bib Fortuna. He was somewhere. Do what? In the kitty book, right? Flying a plane at one point, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's kind of like a... I think they kind of use him as a tech specialist, I guess you could say. More than anything. But yeah. He shows up in the novels a couple times, but minor character. And then you see him in the background of the comics a lot. At least like IDW comics. Okay. Next is, I think I actually misspelled his name. Ram Jarama Ram. Ram. Who I think is still a Padawan. Did he get knighted in Midnight Horizon? Did I get this wrong? He did, didn't he? Did he? I can't remember if it was just him or I can't remember if it was just Wreath or him. I thought it was both. Anyway, it was both. Any which way, he may be a knight now. But uh, his first appearance is actually the free comic book day of High Republic Adventures. So, free oh, comic uh, book day first appearance there. Yeah, uh, he's kind of described as mostly a loner, um, not a lot of friends, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but also a very skilled mechanic. And then he kind of makes friends with Reese and a lot of the other Padawans that are similar to his age. And uh, one of the, oddly one of the few Padawans, or one of the few people we see in High Republic, at least besides I think Indira carries one, a yellow lightsaber. So, hmm. oh, it's just Reese Wayseeker. You should, oh yeah, he's right. Was it just Reese? Okay, good. I thought it was, but I couldn't remember. Yeah, yeah you're right, Wayseeker. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, yeah, because he did, because he, yeah, but he's still, 
I think he's going to, he can play really well. Like this is yeah. a character that I think. They gave just, him a lot of character development in Midnight Horizon. Yeah, they did a good job on him. Wayseeker might not take so far. Uh, next up, we get to the Masters. Uh, there's Cantum Sai. So he first showed up in High Republic Adventures number three. Um, he is Lula Talasola's direct Jedi Master. Uh, and he's actually the Padawan under Yoda for a period of time. Uh, and he's a non-binary character. And now, interestingly enough, in the same comic, uh, there is a very brief, it's unnamed, appearance of Lily Tora Asai, Tora Asai uh -huh. which is the character from the manga. So huh. she shows up holding a tea thing when they're all like greeting uh, Zine. Be like a cameo, right? That's yeah, it would be a very it. brief cameo because they don't even name the character. You have no idea who it is cameo. at this point in the don't game. Even get into ad adjectives that just call it a cameo. Yeah, and he he went on Rum, Rum Springer. He was a big part of Rum Springer. They already yeah, yeah. A lot and she's character Rum left Springer. the order, came back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was that after he came up? I think with it was the a Gangnam style right? song, or is that a different <laughs> side? Yeah, came back just to do the Bake Off, you know, and some other fun stuff. <laughs> Yeah, right. he's a good character. He has good development, and uh, I like. He was one yeah. of those characters that I saw in the comics, but he's kind of in the background. And then Midnight Rising really developed his character too, as far as that goes. He's a point of view character even in that book. So also, what he said, one of the uh, masters kind of walked away, or well, you know, because they were whatever. All right. Yeah. Uh, next is Sav. I think it's Maligan. Say name. That's what I'm going like to guess. Um, so yeah, it is Imbo. Same race. Same race uh -huh. as Imbo. Um, but yeah, she shows up first in High Republic Adventures 8. Uh, so you see her as the, the kind of the motherly figure to court. Her and Maz Kanata mm -hmm. are both on this planet. I think she was she the only person at that temple. She is. I believe so. She was. Yeah. So basically she was overseeing a temple on her own. And um, yeah, they discovered court. So important character to court. And like I said, she really has some pretty cool moments, although you don't see her very much. Hmm. But uh, this will be interesting to see if she's one of the Doesn't characters that they'll develop out of. Yeah, I think they will. I think they're going to get. No, this is. I thought that there's a rumor that this, one of the backstories, too, that they're going to follow. Like one of the main characters is her and her backstory is what we're yeah. going to get. I wouldn't be surprised. Hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Edge of Balance. Yeah. Right. Yep. She is in that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Only available digital, by the way. If We'll get to that at the end. There was a thing ahead Ooh. of me. Yeah, I know. Um, next is Tacoban Pack. Band. There's band some pack. sketch, Joe, real quickly about the art in there. Yes, the first couple, especially the first couple. Like, remember, Marshan Road does a camp. Well, you'd probably get to them later, but yeah, but they do some weird art in that the first couple. Yeah, yeah. there's they. I don't know if they. I remember when we were getting re reviewing switch this. backed artists, but <laughs> I remember when we were reviewing this, people were criticizing us because we were saying that the art was bad, but the story was so good, and we got a lot of back mm -hmm. and forth. Yeah, but I mean, it's a writer well, throughout different artists. For Jedi. The curmudgeon, it was it was still one of our favorite series. So all right. <laughs> the curmudgeon. Yep. The great yeah. So not a lot out there on Tabba Can. <laughs> but um he is part of the Starhopper kind of training crew as a Jedi Master. Um and he is uh who did I say? This was as far as no court. One well, I mean, he was one of the Padai's master, one of the Padawan's masters. Um Frog but there's really not much to him. He shows up in twelve. You don't even see him really. Until High Republic Adventures number twelve, and he's kind of there to train people on Starhopper. And he kind of brings the younglings and stuff with him, if I recall. He should have been in the Bake Off too. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt. All right. Oh. Next up uh, was a very interesting character that they didn't do much with, but Ty York. Mm. Oh yeah, man. So first shows up in Monsters at Temple Peak number one. But yeah, a very intriguing character, kind of Jedi monster hunter. Um, she left the Order as a Padawan. Um, so she's not really a Jedi, she still uses the force, still uses the saber, fights with the Jedi at one point. That's and a cool lightsaber. She was a lot more interesting. She was a lot more interesting in the novel than she was in the comic book, I thought. Great. Yeah. Yeah. And then after yeah. the novel, they just kind of didn't yeah. the comic book, I think, fell into that trope of like we've said before, they divided into four parts and just was like poorly kind of paced for oh yeah, comic, yeah, yeah like yeah. would have better just to be one. But um like in the novel, she was like Jedi said, really good character in that, and then they just kind of like you didn't see her. Whole they rest botched, of I think they botched everything about her. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna 150 years? That's pretty far back to have her as a Padawan. Do you think they're gonna give us some more of that? Yeah. Or... 
Well, so they get that, the, the, the sequels, maybe. Yeah, well, in the in the comic, you get that angle with was a Clias Terradine kind of, and that at least yeah. seemed like it was going to play into the whole Lost Twenty angle. So I don't know. I think it's maybe one of those things that you might see more Sequel. in Phase Three than Phase Two. Yeah, but the Phase Three thing I think we're more high on is as developing. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. <laughs> Even gave her a droid companion, and we still didn't see much. It. It's kind of yeah. weird. Yeah. Next up is so this one might be a little bit controversial because it's going to flash back and forth. But Bell Zetafar, so I have his first appearance down. This is what I picked as Higher Public Adventures Annual for this year. So mm -hmm. technically, he shows up in what was it? Trial of the Shadows number one, writhing on the <laughs> ground in like the first panel or something like that, if I remember right. I agree. Um, so. But that would be but a yeah. cameo, correct? Yeah. So I don't know. I'm putting this down as his appearance. So, any sorry. which way, uh, he actually, yeah. You mentioned yeah, both. I'm sorry. People can make their own calls of what they would rather. I got him mixed Earth's up with Wreath. I just, just, I got him mixed up with Wreath in the description there. He doesn't have three Jedi Masters. He does not. No. Um, so ignore that third bullet. Or does he? He, he was boiling soup with, uh, he was boiling soup with uh, Porter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two, right? Two. Yeah. Any which way. Um, he does have a, a charhound called Ember, which is one of the, actually one of the cooler characters in Light of the Jedi. That's mm, why, because when his first master died, they let him pick up the mm -hmm. hound to keep him yeah. out. And... But eventually, his master is Indira Stokes, who is also now incapacitated for being hit by a level or on Starlight Beacon. But she's yeah, still alive. Know. She's in a coma. Or... <laughs> for those that don't know, it's a dog yeah. that can breathe fire, just, just in case anybody <laughs> unaware. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's cool. It's real cool. The, this doesn't isn't there exclusive for this cover too? No, so yeah, yes, no. there is. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Yeah, we'll okay, get to the section. Okay, yep. Yeah, but there's also the B cover too that has Porter on it. Yeah, port. Okay, we'll get into that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, go. Oh, we're not gonna get to Porter. Actually, we're not because we're not doing IDW. It's only IDW. All right. Next up. Next up is Porter. <laughs> hey, there he is. So. There he is. Shows up on the B cover of High Republic Adventures Annual number twenty or twenty twenty one, I should say. Um, so uh, he's one of the most interesting characters. I think kind of everybody still agrees with that. Still agree. Um, still agree. Yeah, made a great first impression in the novel. Didn't really see much of him too. Then, but yeah, there's but the chef. He is the blade of Bartoda. I think it's Bartoda. That's how you say it. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. He kind of had a, I guess, secretive would have been the word I put down here. Probably the best word I can think of a more higher up position in the uh, order and then kind of just step back to become just a cook. So, but, for those people that don't know about Berdota, too, it's a, like a planet of like warriors, or whatever. And the Jedi, this is from Clone Wars, so we know already. The mm -hmm. uh, Jedi were going there and taking babies, and the uh, people on Berdota didn't, they didn't like that. So. <laughs> They didn't like that a lot, so they banned Jedi's from there at one point. So hopefully that's what we get to see, and maybe that's why he stepped down was because he was a baby stealer. But it should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I'm yeah, to do something excited. I didn't like probably. Yeah, but he will have his own comic in Phase Two coming up in I think October. Nice. Not yet titled. Now, does anybody know what was his rank? Uh, chef. Chef. Exactly. Master. So I put down Jedi Master question mark. He was because they referenced that he was, but he was also kind of like. Did, remember the book? Was it? Um, it was Gray's book, right? Uh, yeah. That no. They had talked. Light of the Jedi. It was Light of Jedi Soul. Yeah. They had said that he was at one point, but he kind of is in it, re, re, yeah. retired. Pretty mm -hmm. much. Yeah. Or he can wander and like do a thing. And they don't call him really like Master Porter Ingle or Master Ingle or anything like that. They... It is a pretty solid $30 book. Yeah, I mean the A cover sucks on it though. The B cover yeah, is kind of dope. Much better cover. Plus the B yeah. cover has a character on it that you know is the first appearance of the character. Yeah, I think the B cover is probably the uh, pretty. Uh, the rest, the other three, the A cover is the one that sucks the most. So if you have, if you get thirty, sell that, get mm. and trade it for a couple Bs, and uh, you know, <laughs> Joe, you're, that's correct. He had the rank of B A. Yeah, he is a B A. <laughs> He is really well. We keep referring to him as Steven Seagal. I don't think he is uh, Steven Seagal. Of Maybe Star Wars. we'll see. Galaxy far, far away. Well, I don't want <laughs> yeah. him past because he ends up on a boat and then there's a cake on it. Then we'll know for sure. Yep. All right, all right. So that's who was alive and well. I'm going to the non Jedi. Yeah, 
Live and well for the Jedi. No, for yeah, like, doing well for eggs the... or something. like that's his favorite dish is devil devil eggs or some some Star Wars devil eggs. Star it is nine, nine eggs soup or something. I can't remember nine. Yeah, eggs or it was something like that. Yeah. I can't remember eighteen eggs, whatever. Okay, go ahead. The bad guys. Uh, so first up, uh, Crix Camerit. So again, childhood friends with Zine. Uh, one goes with the Night Hill. One goes with the Jedi. He rose to the ranks of Night Hill. Kind of in a devious manner, but I, I High Republic Adventures one his first appearance. One of the more disappointing stories throughout the arc, though, was him. Maybe, maybe just me. But I, I'm just gonna hit this up real quickly because Joe is a friend of the show, so and I know he doesn't. The problem I have with A real quickly is this: on a, a couple days before it hit a certain app in Diamond, 824 of them were cleared out. I don't know how hot the book is, A. I'm just just be careful with that book on A is all I'm gonna say. Do what you're gonna do. But when somebody goes in diamond and clears out 824 copies of an A copy, because there's no B's left and they can't get a hold of uh you know, they can't get a hold of whatever the exclusives were. I would just we tell you guys not to get FOMO. I, I would just be very careful with FOMO on the A cover, guys. Just be careful. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, sorry, yeah. go ahead. I figure no, I can address it. We're not going to talk any more about that cover, so we're going to talk about the other exclusives. Yeah. Just so people don't think we're avoiding talking about that one because we've been excused excu uh, that before. So, all right, go JJ. So Crix is Crix is more or less kind of depicted as the, the protege of Martian Rowe. Rowe kind of takes him in. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I thought I we thought I think we all thought that he was going to be really. Yeah, they kind of just his character seemed to just kind of peter out near. Like somewhere in the middle, like I think in the the first like five or six issues, that first arc or whatever you want to call it of yeah. adventures, like I, his character was one of the more intriguing ones. And just yeah. kind of just like faded into the background, I guess you could say. What was very interesting about him is they they showed the exact scene that was also in Midnight Horizon in the comic. Ruben, how did you feel that? I mean, I know how some of these guys' opinions is on it, so I'm just asking you because I haven't asked your opinion before. Did you do you feel that they just diminished his character there, or do you think they diminished it before there? Because I think they pretty much threw him out after the Horizon thing. I I think they did it actually before that. But when I the feeling that I got, and I thought they were, I was really going to think they were going to go, was that, and I when I first read him, I was like, are they really going to do a Fox and the Hound? Is, that's what the, that's what we're doing. Like, uh, their yeah. their enemies became friends. I mean, the, the yeah. friends became enemies, and I kind of like. I know I'm in the, the minority in this one, but I kind of like the way that she was just like, I'm done with you. You went, you went too far around and they just kind of ended him. But I wanted more of his character. I wanted to see more of the way Martian yeah. Lowe, or Mac or however you said, uh, how he thinks that's what I wanted. Yeah. And but then, I would have liked that too. I would like that too. But if you know, yeah. from the novel, she pretty much goes in the hallways and starts crying almost because of right. that. So, like, it would have been cool if she would just straight gangster him out and was like, done with you see you later and then walked out and was like yeah dude i'm done i think that in the comic it plays well but like that that head part in the comic that we saw earlier where they're touching each other that's mm -hmm. after like there was a big emotional thing because of it like right. and i i don't know i don't know yeah. oh it's good thank you for that point of view anyways go ahead sorry jj i keep oh that's good um so sabata krill is next mm -hmm. um it's just character because kind of a starts off as like a minor almost throwaway character um, but they kind of build her into a little bit more. Um, so she does have a twin sister. They were on the strike team that got pretty much their butts kicked by Sav when they <laughs> attacked the temple. And uh, But they do eventually blow up the temple through kind of deception. Um, yeah. But eventually her character grows into this, I guess, learns from Crix, I guess, in a way, and grows into this mischievous character that uh, even decides to basically to betray Crix and take his she position in the Nile. She set her sister up also. Yeah, she set her care. own sister up. So. Yeah. Sell out everyone type of character. Yeah. But yeah. Although her sister she... had already defected or whatever, right? Yeah, that's what she said. They both were defect. Yeah. She's using her sister as a defector so she could blow the place up. Yeah. She used it as a because yeah. so, but High Republic, High Republic Adventures 8 is her first appearance. So I don't know. This is one of those characters that like if you look forward into the future, could become you know yeah, like a born a D type character or something like that. I thought she was yeah. gonna be more I thought that's his, her path was more what the Crick's path was gonna be. Yeah. And it just, hmm. Interesting. Yep. So next up is the big boss himself. Well, Row. hopefully you guys cover this for a little while because I'm gonna pop out for a second. We're gonna. Oh, okay. Row? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. So 
the eye of the Nihil. Um, now, again, controversial maybe among some people. First appearance for me, Hyrule Adventures number two. Two, not one. I don't count little tiny shadow <laughs> Markeon, even though I guess he does talk. But I don't know. People can see it differently. That's my definition. But um, yeah. So you know when you know it's the first appearance when he shows when up. Not, yeah, but when it sells out and then everybody tries to find another book. To follow yeah, I'm not a big like shadow first appearance guy. Like if you can't see what the character is, like to me that's not really an appearance. Like it's just a so. Yeah, plus the drawing's really bad in the in a. What was the RI for this? Yoda was one, right? RI for this one was. Is it? Uh, uh, it was Book of Blood in his Corvette. Corvette. Book of cool. the Blood, <laughs> riding in the Corvette <laughs> convertible. So, yeah. uh, he seeks the destruction of the Republican and Jedi Order. Very interesting yeah. about this character too is like he his development is when you always thought he wanted to run the Nye Hill. Uh, that might not be it. He like might have his own hit squad at some point. Might be walking away from the Nye Hill for for self. Kind of like yeah. how uh, almost like a Thrawn was at one point, uh, just mm-hmm. looking after oneself. So yeah, and, and it's still strong. Like this is a character that uh, they've kept strong for the whole time. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Very cagey about his origin too, which we learned a lot more in Eye of the Storm, the comic. But like the his actual origin before that is even in the. Uh, which book was it where he has like the cousin and they go to find the leveler? Was that was it into the dark? Was it out of the shadows? Just, yeah. Or was it Rising Storm? Might have been Rising, Rising Storm. Storm. I think I don't remember now. But any which way, yeah, Rising Storm. Yeah. They so, should pick up Eye of the Storm. He's very too. cagey about his background. Even in that, like he has a relative that he's talking to, but like every time she brings up like his family or his background, like he basically tells her to shut it <laughs> or just move <laughs> along, type of thing. So make sure you pick up Eye of the Storm on Wednesday, uh, number two. It's a uh, might deep back down and give us a little bit more insight into this character here too yeah so. yeah all right so, next up i don't know now your guys opinion on him real quick like one of the better villains of star wars lately that we've seen or not i think they didn't cheap out on him no i, I think they like took every, it all the way i think they, they played him up really good i think they learned from mistakes they've made in past with some of the villains and they're like no we gotta put i mean he's an onion of characters right like, mm-hmm. hey, by the way, we have like 64, 65 in the chat. Or if you guys could, you know, give us the old thumbs up, a Rooney, and, uh, you know, the old sub. We're not even asking you to hit the bell. Just do that. We'd appreciate it. So, what I think is like they started off because he did, they did the weakness thing where he came off weak. They grew up. They gave us the backstory. They've given us everything we wanted out of this character, right? Is anybody, mm-hmm. is anybody not, they're going to, I promise you, they're probably going to give you a little bit more in Eye of the Storm, too. It's called Eye of the Storm. It's about him. So, you know, I'm not spoiling anything, but this could coming up there. You're going to get the a little bit more into him. But like, mm-hmm. there's still more. I think they, the more we find out about him, I think you still want. It's like eating good cereal, right? Like you, you eat out more. more. And you're like, damn, I want, I want some more. <laughs> Even though I've got to the prize, I still want to finish the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still want to kind of finish <laughs> the box, right? So like, I, I think that's kind of it. I think you want to see like, I mean, I'm not sure. Early on, I thought there was a huge link between him and the Sith, and the more. We get into it. I'm not quite sure that's the route they're going. Yeah, yeah. I thought the same thing early on. Yeah, I don't know. I like, waste of your ass is he a dark side user? I don't know. It's, it's so cagey; it's hard to tell because a lot of the times that's a trademark of the Sith or whoever is disguise like yourself dark. as so something what they're you're doing, not. But. Well, this is very interesting what they're doing with High Republic now. Just like the Ron Springer things happening on the light side, the dark side now they're not just doing dark side as Sith. Like the Drain Gear are dark side characters, but do remember a couple thousand years before um, this, before the High Republic, before the entire High Republic, even the stuff they're gonna do in pre- prequels, a couple thousand years before that, a group of Sith people came together and created these statues to lay dormant the Drain Gear because the Drain Gear were coming out and even though it was like Sith versus Sith. Remember Planet of Sith, Sith versus Sith back in the Dark Horse stuff? It's kind of the same thing. Mm. So there's Dark Horse. So they're using all these dark characters. They're a dark type character. The Levelers, the Nameless, not just the Great Leveler, but all the Nameless are creatures of the dark side of the Force. Kind of something we saw introduced to us in Rebels and in, Clo- in Rebels, really, when you had, uh, what was his name? The the thing in the air that was both. Oh, but in Clone Wars, you had the Light and the Dark brother, mm-hmm. sister stuff. It, they're using all that in here. So not everything is going to be as cut and dry Sith versus Jedi light versus dark. Right. So right. I think Mark and Rose family, as we saw from the first eye of the storm is just these bunch of 
bugs that will kick you off a cloud while you're fishing because you didn't catch enough fish. Right, Jedi? That's Jedi's favorite part of the movie. Yeah. Wait, were you talking about <laughs> But does his family tell the whole neighbor? story? What? Are you talking about Ben dude? The giant lion character? The big giant yak looking dude. Yeah. Who's kind of yeah. like gray. Yeah. I feel like uh yeah. I feel like the student that Marco just called on called on because he thought I was <laughs> sleeping or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What, what was the question? <laughs> like, remember, I, I was just making a joke. At one point, you said it was the best part was when Marshan Rose's family member kicked a uh, the dad, the wife kicked the dad out because he didn't catch enough fish on the cloud. Uh, his family's just, pretty tough road. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So it's yeah. just like they can do that. But I mean, he needs the leveler staff, or he needs the leveler staff and the two parts of that to put together. The, the group that uh, Crix and Zeta came from had half of it. And they kind of remind us of that Afro group that was collecting. It's the staff the, of Raw. What's it called? <laughs> Not a staff of Raw. It's no, the staff exactly of Raw. It is. Staff of two, raw. Pieces. Really? <laughs> two pieces to make a staff. It's the staff of Raw. Yeah, but uh, I'm going to tell you that. Okay. That's, <laughs> yes, I Indiana know. Exactly with Indy. Right. Just keep going. Anyway, so <laughs> what I'm saying is, like, even with that family, if you read the first book, even without reading the second part, You've read some of this stuff. It and, and there's other characters too. They use like some of the animals when uh Ezra was reaching out to touch them, he thought they had the dark side and found out no, it, they were actually light side, they just growl a lot or whatever. They've done that before. In High Republic, they are using that and expanding it, just like they're doing kind of the rum springer thing and expanding that. I think they're gonna expand the use of both the dark and the light side and get away from Sith and Jedi so much that you can sell more shit, pretty much. Yep. All right. I agree. <clears throat> Next, up, Next up is yeah, Kizma Uzzer sound. Okay. Dr. Kizma. Doctor. So he is the kind of, I guess, doctor slash mad scientist of the Night Hill. Interestingly enough, though, he has no allegiance to the Night Hill. He even says it. Like, he has in it for the money and give two craps about anything else. Um, so, yeah. But he did take care of Mari Santeca. So there's a, a relationship of sorts there. Even kind of basically, I don't know if you'd say defy, maybe not been the right word to type there, but kind of went against Rose orders or tried to go against Rose orders and a lot of things to take care of her. But now, first appearance is Star Wars Adventure 6, so not a High Republic title is the first one he shows up in. Uh, this was the mm -hmm. Tales of Villainy 2020 Star Wars Adventures run. Now, interestingly on this character, and see if anybody else kind of felt the same way, but how is he still alive? <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, the character has like beat shot. death like six yeah. times in this yeah, arc. Yeah, yeah. He's scrappy. Yeah. No, well, there's yeah. one where they infer that he's dead, and then he showed up in the yeah. next book. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, still alive by my yeah. count. So, so he's in the alive and well category. I just don't like um, the way. Next up is ruined. Ishtar. What's that? You, say? you don't. No, you do or you don't. Pretty, I I don't. I, I think he's a pretty interesting character. I mean, he's almost kind of humorous in a way, but you know, I can't. I just, mm -hmm. I don't think they, the way they drew him is like this bat like. I mean, I would see him on the cover. If I didn't know any of the story going in, I would see him on a cover of a comic and be like, no thanks. I don't, I don't need that. <laughs> That's part of the, of yeah. the, the charm. You, you, you don't expect a lot out of him. Yeah. Well, you yeah. think just to address this real quickly, he might have some experience with it, but just as like Z, like there's a lot of characters they've shown us already who, they're not actually like they're not even trying to make her. She uses the light side ish of the force, but they don't even try to make her a Jedi. They're like just hang out with us for a bit. Yeah, and you can have your well, of her own. And the flip of that too is there's there's several people over the course of Star Wars history that the Sith have used via willingly or even unwillingly to their ends. So he could they, be one of those might, characters. So. His family members might have ran into it in the in that one book. There's a couple times that they, they might have ran into it, but that does not. What I'm saying is. Just because you run into light side or dark siders, it might not make you a Sith. What is this? Why are we doing a rating thing? Is that, is that our move along? What is that? I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't see that? I didn't see anything. I saw it. All right, go ahead. <laughs> oh, I was checking the did it change on the screen. Like, I can't see uh, it. All right, next up. Go, let's go. Right, yeah. there oh, there's Pete's We're background. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So when I change the thing, yeah, that's the, that's my background on my laptop, in case you're curious. But, <laughs> Wait, I was I was on board with you for like the first three quarters of this wave till like the last quarter. I think my opinion has changed uh, on that one. Yeah, I was just looking at the slides. I was trying to pick yeah. it. Next up, real <laughs> <laughs> Next up, real quick, is Ishtar. So I put Ishtar on the list because she is. You want to waste time? 
an interesting character that shows up a lot. High Republic of Interest 6. So this is going to be one of those where you see like the same comic like four times in a row now. But uh, worked with Gracchus the Hutt on Now Hutta uh, and captured the Padawans even after they saved him or her, I should say. And then, um, yeah. Then allied with the Jedi eventually team, after the right? attack. And, yeah. Yeah. And still there. Still uh, in the background of Adventure 13. Still on the Star Hopper. So I don't know. I don't know if there's anything going on there. That's why they were included. Um, but not a Jedi, just former Hut Cartel member. Yeah. And then we got the crew. But next up, the crew, the vessel crew. So Affy Hollow, t- the owner of the vessel, co pilot of the vessel, uh, inherited the ship from her mother. Um, and he's uh, obviously a crew member with Geox and Leo, uh, Leox and Geode. Mm. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. High Republic Adventures number six. We get the whole crew. In this comic, so the ship is the vessel. Yeah, I like anybody this. have any opinions on the screen? Let's go to Leox next. Yeah, I, I, well, we can talk about them as a group because I mean there are a crew all together. But yeah, I, I like this crew. I, so, I like all three. I, I had to get my Matthew McConaughey joke. <laughs> you may or may not sound like Matthew McConaughey, depending on what shows up in your head. But known as a free spirit, he is the pilot, the main pilot at least. So, and then let's do Geode real fast. We'll get yeah, the whole crew at once. Geode. Geode. So he is Venetian. This is his race. So uh, he, it seems like he teleports place to place. I don't know. Have they ever actually defined how he moves? I don't think they have. No. He just shows up. No. So maybe but they he does have that in the, the. Well, the Doctor Who episode Blink. Like it's like okay. a yeah, you know, weeping angel. He just moves when you don't <laughs> yeah. look. He, that's when he goes. He yeah. Moves. You look right. at him, he stays still. And you turn your head, he moves. You just made a Star Wars podcast nerdier by referencing Doctor. I know Sticks knows what I'm talking about. It's all right. <laughs> but um, my son, yeah. it's all right and here. he can magnetically shield himself. That was a magnetically shielding was a new power from Fallen Star apparently. So, so he protects himself from blasters. Although a giant rock would be hard to blast through, anyways, you would think. But mm. yeah. So I don't know. What do you guys think about the vessel crew? They were some of my favorite characters as far as I like them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there were some of my right. favorites. I, I, I'd like to see what else they end up doing with Geode. Like, can he, like, change his density? Can he, like, become, like, you know what I mean? Like, can he bend? Can he become, like, more soft or, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. I you want to be, like, clay see. face or Does sand he, man? Yeah. I think, yeah. I think, I actually think that, that, uh, and you kind of joked in a reference, JJ, about the teleporting. I think they kind of gave a hint reference that maybe, because they joked, like, one of the books about it that he doesn't do it, but it might be, mm-hmm. especially considering he tripped the person and he gets yeah. shot too, but he doesn't die. Well, it's interesting too that he moves around like that, and not even Jedi can like detect how he gets to wherever he goes. Mm-hmm. Well, he's no, either it, teleporting or he's very fast. One or the other. Right? This group is a fan favorite, though. They did it. This is another one. They did a great, you know, they've done some great job. As much as we can criticize them for other things, um, <laughs> See what you did. Uh, see what you did, Pete. I know. I know Sticks would know what I'm talking about. I know what that's about. We're just talking about Star Trek again. Um, anyways, I think they like this is another group I think they did exceptionally, exceptionally well with. Um, every time they bring it out, even when like Leox almost died and he didn't. Yeah, that was such they, a fake out. <laughs> was it? Yeah. I was sad for a minute and then I was like, because I actually believed it. I thought he was dead, but. Yeah, you know they've kind of made. Uh, remember, death sticks were called death sticks because they killed you, and now like almost everybody in this era kind of uses it too. They kind of change in a way the, the way drugs work in Star Wars. Also, it would make you know? sense. Who would want to buy this? It's going to kill you. <laughs> I mean, have you ever seen a heroin addict before? Mm. Yeah, but the only reason why the heroin sellers make money is because they keep coming back. If they died every the first time they took it, then they wouldn't have a clientele. You got to get them coming back for a while. The only thing I found weird about Geode is I know every artist has their own specific way of drawing them. But Geode shouldn't be, mm-hmm. shouldn't have different versions of Geode. If he's a rectangle, oh, yeah. you know, yeah, he's not. Even here, like this is a rectangle. Like, even this one right here, yeah, and the other one that you showed. You is, not here, it's more, like, yeah. That's not the like same rock. thing. Like, why is that a why is that a problem? Like, let's pick one well, on him. Yeah. That's the only issue that I have. And I didn't go over it, but they did the same thing with they did the same thing with Row too. Like that was very yeah. confusing. Yeah. And like the helmet is one design, and then the helmet's another design. They don't yeah, like yeah. specify well, why they're different designs or anything else. Well, the, one cameo- of the reasons I was wondering if Geode could change his form or his shape is because most times he's depicted as very 
chiseled, right? I mean, square, right. rectangle, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's like a monolith in 2001. Yeah. Describe him. Does he do, does he, does he do that on purpose because it's more appeasing or appealing to people around him? Or, I don't know. They like dominoes. So I figured yeah. I'd choose this shape. He's apparently a big flirt too. Yeah, Please, man. Woman, yeah. Yeah, he's man. He's going to wind up being the tombstone for somebody. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> and on that. We don't know how that <laughs> works. Yeah. 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 So all next, right, I, put, I put Zint on this list. Um, and I put it down as High Relic Adventures 13 just because oh, that's she is true. very briefly in 12 and also very briefly in Trial of the Shadows 5. I don't know. 13. Well, they give her a name and she gets thrown in the air. Yeah, she she's involved in the, in the story like, yeah. and yeah. like kids right. in a pool. Yeah. Just, hey. But I thought it was interesting. So they took this, the Aloxion species that Court is, and made it seem like it was kind of a rare thing. I mean, mm -hmm. did a whole arc on that character and that species, and then they brought in another one. So I don't know. They didn't say it was so rare though. Remember, because there's a whole planet of them with the crabs. Well, they didn't say it was that rare, but like, I mean, there's no other Jedi that we know of. Was all besides this little. Well, they, they had to here, replace but... the look. They're like, oh well, dude broke out of his mask. We need a new mask. Steal the yeah. from a planet. Yeah. Get a new one. Well, main reason I great. main reason I added her on here is maybe I'm alone in this, but does anybody else think that Court would come eventually in phase three, probably become the master of Zint? Mm. If he so rises that, to the rank of I master, Zint will go crazy and just start killing people in Sith. So, yeah, mm. it'll be cool. This is the other thing too. I think uh, the misnomer is, and we say it a lot, is like, "Oh, all these people are going to die." Do you remember, like, the Jedi don't really get wiped out till, till uh, Clone Wars? Really? Yeah, the Order Six is nearly the healthy. End, yeah. I mean, they're not as healthy as they are at this part of the High Republic. So there's a lot of them that are going to disappear. Like J J keeps referencing it and not telling you what he's saying. A lot of them have to be sacrificed to deal with the levelers, but yes. there's still going to be a lot of these guys around into the clone error so um mm -hmm. just i think the adventure books are probably the better yeah. and as, there's still uh, the whole lost 20 angle and people leaving the order and a lot of leaves so. mm -hmm. which we haven't seen yet but we assume we will in this mm -hmm. republic era then there's that point where plagueis is going to have to be brought up anyways uh yeah. there lopez that was for you sweetheart um <laughs> there you go <laughs> what about yeah. cham cham last oh, last but not least <laughs> cham 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 oh, is the that's not what i'm um, I tried to oh, click sorry. on it and it went to the next. There we go. Page. There we go. Chin Cham is the pet of Zine, and I basically put it on here as a placeholder in case I had <laughs> something else. But uh, and it does. There is an interesting Yoda moment. I think was it the comics? I think wasn't it? Where I think they're going to find Zine or Yoda's infiltrating something to try to find her, and like the Cham Cham is there with her and it, like eats somebody's arm. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought he ate the whole goes person. Goes to sleep or something like that. <laughs> he ate the whole person. Yeah. Did he eat the whole person? I thought yeah. that's what I thought. He just goes to sleep. So. <laughs> well, yeah. Hey, wait we'll see if he still put Crash in there. If not, he gets fired. Oh. I see this as like if you ever like cash out in like a, a Grogu type moment, that this will probably be the character or the creature, I should say, that will cash out on as far as like having a plush toy or something. Yeah, because everybody loved the cat and Captain Marvel eating the, you know, Cosmic Cube. Well, they also got the white rat that's uh what's her name the one that's that shoots yeah. the doctor a lot of people have pets in this bell's got the dog you got El ember got cham cham Chan the bat or whatever that's supposed to be and you got a uh what's it jordana sparkburn has like the big attack cat battle cat hey wait has got a question oh. speaking of terrible art terrible art did you do the annual with crash and the crew or no was she in the annual yeah she was there's another second story in the annual oh i missed that then Oh, well, we'll get to you next week. Wait, I did that on this list. There's no comic appearance, so she is there at the end. She does have a comic appearance. Yeah, in the annual, I missed it. The whole crew, including the one that the thing I worked on this list throughout the week. Okay, give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we'll edit it to next week with, with the higher the other higher public stuff. It, All right, it was, it was a story where they were like in a little maze and they were being chased by people. It was it was the one where she was. She was uh, protecting the chancellor. I remember the hologram with the the guy. That was her. She's she's got pink she's hair. The oh, oh, she's she's, she's talking to the know. guy with the heads. The guy with the two eyes. I can see it in my head. It's in the annual. Hold on. I have Kevin annual. We're not holding on. <laughs> well, the only picture, the only picture I pulled up of her to find this was awful. So. Yeah, that's in the annual, probably. Go ahead. Keep going with this. Yeah. So first up. We get to our missing or dead. So 
this also include captured and some other things, but so missing just because I can't remember what happened to him mostly was Elder Tromac. This this looks so, like the cover to uh, Under <laughs> Tromac was one forty two. <laughs> they're all yeah, it does kind of missing deceased. But um, <laughs> but he is I guess the leader of the question mark cult. I guess you could call it a cult, the elders of the path. Um, but he's kind of funny because it was the uh, there's a storyline where he um goes with the night hill and kind of is like set up in that position to be like important or an advisor to the night hill sort of in a way about certain things and like the four and then crix basically just sets them up and sells them out yeah and then it's they- <laughs> <laughs> so the first chance he gets the to seize a bit of power so i thought that was interesting in the first arc but high republic adventures one for him next up is mari santica mm. um so Interesting character, and there's actually a, a lot of background here that they don't explain in the comics. It's more in a novel, which was yeah. Uh, what well, was a Tempest Runner? I think. What was the one before that? Out of the Shadows. I think she's in a lot of Out of the Shadows, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Was yeah. it Out of the Shadows? Okay, yeah. So, member of the Senteca clan, which one, right? they are kind of the the gurus of hyperspace, um, in a way. So. Uh, she was basically the one that fed all the hyperspace lanes and the reason the Night Hill could travel from place to place so easily and all that was her, her I guess, doing all that was kind of like a forced labor situation. Um, but she was taken at a young age by, actually, it was Ro's father. And then um, even Ro ended up using, and she can communicate telepathically, at least with the Jedi. Uh, we learned that. I think she completes uh, Loden at one point and also Vernestra. So. But, uh, oh. Star Wars Adventures number six is her first appearance. So. Next up is Torben Buck. Buckets of blood. Sadly, I put him down as missing. It old buckets of blood. So, yeah. He uh, oh. is one of Star Harbor's pat on. I don't know. He may not be dead. He may be alive. We don't know. He just kind of like strips down and wanders yeah, into the darkness and takes on the long reviews. He went down to his, his skivvies and <laughs> was like, I'm going to war. Skivvies. Yep. yep. So, I don't know. He's He, he can make it out of there. We'll see. I hope so. I like this character. Yeah, he'll be fine. I'm convinced. He'll be fine. Next up is Obertuck Glee, who got added to this probably because uh, is captured. I don't know. We just kind of went over the preview a little bit ago, but he is uh, at the end of Adventures 13, he's okay, but in our preview for Eye of the Storm 2, he is very clearly in shackles with Roe, and that will probably not end well. Um, but interesting character. We first see him in High Republic Adventure 6, where he's hibernating, whatever his race hibernates as. Um, but he's a interesting character that he actually wields, or does wield occasionally up to like five lightsabers at a time. Um, and um, like I said, he gets captured sometime after the events of Adventure 13. We don't know when. But... Now my eyes are getting a little but he might make it out of that too. We don't know. Testicles the tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> <Little lightsaber. laughs> oh, wow. I, hope not. I had some typos in this, but I, if that was one of them, that would have been a problem. He, Watch he out for this. I don't think I did misspell it. Did I say tentacles? tentacles. No, no, no. I, my eyes are getting blurry, so I looked at it one time. It said, uh, I just said testicles. <laughs> yeah. We're almost at the end. <laughs> almost at the end of this review. Next up, we got Tau Bota. Wait, what about Avon? Yeah, or no show. Well, they're they're the no shows, so I have a whole category of no shows. Okay, we'll save them. Again, they're kind of placeholders. Yeah, Tal Boda. But High Republic Adventure Six again. Uh, Tal Boda shows up in mm-hmm. I guess you would say a memory, although it's more of a holocron. I don't know. Basically it's Farzala's memory of the holocrons that he used to watch when he was a kid. Mm-hmm. Um, right. and apparently he was a a powerful Jedi known for battling the Sith and taking on them all by himself. And I don't know. They don't really define when he was alive. Because it's just kind of as far as all his memory and how he thought of it, um, but he does call him at one point the greatest Jedi ever, which probably oh. was untrue. But, yeah. Interesting character that you may see some of in the prequel stuff, but it acted like he was a much older character than the 150 years we're going back to. So I don't know if we'll actually see him in the the phase two of everything. You never know. At least they might reference him. Might still be a story. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. Yeah. All right. These next three. So. Uh, go ahead and click on raw for me. Raw. So, 
Yeah, all three of these are deceased, and we kind of never first two. Rob Baratki, I can't remember how to say his name because it was in like the first novel. <laughs> he died uh, in the hyperspace disaster, I think, saving a child or something. Yep. And um, there was Jora Molly, who um, was Reese Silas's original man. Was it Reith or was it? I'm confused. That was, was it Reith or yeah, that was. I was it Reese or Bell's know. original master? It was Reese, right? Reese. Yeah. No, Reith. no, 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 Bell. No, yeah, no, no. Because oh. Reese well, master. I don't remember. Somebody's original yeah. master. <laughs> it, was, it was Bell. It was Bur No, it, it wasn't Burry the... August. I don't know. I Somebody's original know. master. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't in which way, she dies in a battle with the Night Hill. And you don't really get to see her at all. She shows up in both these show up in High Republic Adventure 6, just in one panel. You see them real quick, and it tells you who they are, so you know who they are. And then uh, Loden Graystorm is probably the more important character out of this, even though, again, he is deceased. Um, I don't think so I got cool, that wrong. He's first novel. Bell's master, not Reese master. Yeah. But yeah, yep. great in the first novel. We see him in the comics only briefly, uh, which is basically, I think, this country right here, uh, which is kind of like a flashback of him. But, yeah. Loden Graystorm. Yep. <laughs> Interesting in the fact that he like is captured and then released and then killed. So, mm -hmm. yeah, they yeah. definitely came from. Yeah. Again, I meant to put I think Bell, not Wraith. Some of these I did late at night, so you'll have to forgive me. Okay. Oh, <laughs> good, good, good. All right. Go. Next. So next is kind of the uh, Avon and Jordana. And they I are the one the, I uh, on. Either one. Take the same slide. Okay. Um, so these are the characters you should probably be on the lookout for. Uh, Literally you may not see them in phase two. Yeah. yeah. Do what? I got it. That Except is, for Crash, yeah. yeah. Apparently, Crash has already existed. Yeah, um, but anyway, yeah. Yeah. A Avon, Avon was interesting that she was in like two or three novels, and we never saw her in comics, which I thought was kind of interesting. Same with Jordana; it was in kind of the star of her own novel in a way, and didn't really yeah. get to see her. Uh, we same with Sylvester. The Staros the name means something. Kara XO. I think there's something that she is related to. Yes, Santa Staros. Santa Staros. <laughs> Isn't she like the? She is the grandmother of Santa's, right? Is it great grandmother? Like grandma? I think it'd be like great grandmother or something. Descend would it be ascendant or descendant? I guess ascendant of Santa uh, relation. We'll put it that way. Yeah, uh, relative uh, or uh, ancestor. Rel ancestor. That's Distant relative of <laughs> Santa's ancestor. Yeah. His curse covered. There you go. Ancestor. Yes. To be um, the first way she could, it would be. Go well, ahead. Keep going. I'm sorry. So apparently, Crash does have an appearance in the annual. Is that what we're saying? Yes. Yeah, it's right in this story. Okay. So incorrect. So Crash is not a no show. She's there. And then yeah, Akira right Zoo is a no show, to my knowledge. Story right there. This story in this book. Okay. So Kara Zoo is a Tempest Runner. She takes the Tempest Runner that takes over for Pan after Pan Ada after his death. And then uh, their last but not least is Nan, who shows up again in like three novels, but we never see her mm -hmm. in comics, unless you want to count. Edge of Balance 2, which only available digitally right now. Um, but I did flip through it. She is in that. So, yeah. but not really a comic appearance. We have a, we have a Facebook page. Maybe we can make these slides available after we fix the a couple of things on. Yeah, there. I got yeah. a Facebook page. And I would say Wayseeker, I would say it would be uh, Life Day. Okay, go ahead. I made That's a Facebook we're page for Renovision. I don't know how to hmm? put these slides up, but I can. Here's something else so you guys can get these slides. Oh, I placed, yeah, Life Day. Life Day is his Life first, day. is what I placed him as, yes. To answer that question. So he will be next week in Marvel's run. All right. Anything else? I don't think Man, for that. I think we're done it. with those. Sorry. Try to go as fast as I could. <laughs> My theory actually is a call in a, a, a cameo. But go ahead. What did you have to say, Ruben? You have a story? No, I was going to. No, I'm going to tell Pete something after. <laughs> yeah, oh, not for you guys. Not for you guys. <laughs> not, you, you guys can listen. Not for the not for the chat though. It's something. Okay. Um, are we gonna do listing of characters? Or are we gonna open up some? Bot Let's just list them off real quickly, Pete. Can we do that? Can you do our top ten? Yeah. Oh yeah. The, top the comics. The ID. Can do two at once. Huh? Did you say? Oh wait. Which so ones we do we want to do? Do you want to do the comics or do you want to do the ranking of the story arcs? Comics, I guess. I don't know what we're doing. What are you doing? I'm asking you a question. You're like reading. <laughs> what? You're saying Isn't there the like, comic story arcs, right? There are two different things. We Just have the, the market time? stuff, and we have the ranking of the oh, books. Oh. Rank, the rankings, and then we'll go through them. Uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Do market report. Give them market report, then All we'll right. do the ranking. We could probably do both of them pretty quickly, but that's hey, what I mean. I didn't know which one you wanted to do first. 
Because we just told you what all of our favorites were while we were going over that HR character breakdown. That's kind of true. Well, we can go to do that next, then. Do this after. Nah, screw it. I already have this up, I guess. That is a lo- great background. <laughs> yeah, I got a little Mustafar, actually. Like, yeah, Pete's guess. slides are much better than mine. There we go. There. So we'll blend in. <laughs> Uh, but you, where's my, not, uh, Lonnie, the part is we broke. We try to break this down into three different parts, and, and that was just part one. So we haven't even gotten to the extra books and the, uh, and then into the Marvel run stuff yet. So that was kind of the shorter one. Mm-hmm. All right, go ahead. Wait, what's this? Why is that showing up first? That's what I, you I don't know why this one's showing up first. Oh, because I think this is just the regular cover, but then this is the IDW exclusive. Mm-hmm. Con Ooh, so, exclusive. Ugly. so ugly, it's good. This the first one. This was the San Diego that came out. It was only you can get it on ID, IDW's like store. I think it's all of the these same, are like ten bucks. Did you get this at the same time that you could order the annual? No, no, no. This was the first one. This was back, you know, no. San Diego was. <laughs> this was uh, number six. Six, but they this had something else. San Diego six. Comic Con. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go this ahead. one is the first one they did in this fashion yeah. where they did these online order directly from IDW. But last week, basically, you know, oh, I'm speeding through it. It's like 55, 60 bucks uh, for this first one. It comes poly bagged in a crappy poly bag with a little crappy piece of paper board thing in there with it. But, uh, and then this week, it's actually a little up. It's like 70 bucks, but still basically the same. This 60 to 70, it cost 10 bucks when it came out, but that's kind of where this one's sitting. And as JJ pointed out with all those character firsts, this is kind of the start for arc two. So there's a lot of firsts in this as well. So, Keep that in mind. Not bad. The New York one was next, which was issue nine. That's this not- came out during the New York Comic Con uh, version, IDW. They put this awful, stupid logo that they put on the rest of them that I hate. I wish they didn't put this logo on it, but yeah. there it is. It's online exclusive. It's so it's like it a Las Vegas out. neon sign. Yeah, it just yeah. it just jumps out at you. It just looks like an eyesore. And the mistakes were made. That's why they lost it. <laughs> But this one, oh, oh, don't forget, pay no attention to the 35. That's an old bit from the slide, but 50 bucks. This was last week. Uh, then this week, it's 35 to 40. It's still kind of the same. It's I don't think it's a, a trend. It's just, I think that's just kind of the price. It's you have to get lucky. I think you're going to have to look at lucky at 40 bucks on that last one. All right. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. I don't know. This one seems to be more plentiful. There's a lot available for this one, more so than six or any yeah, of these others. Sense. There's just a lot of this one for whatever reason on eBay. Path, you, can go look. you can get it. You can get it. I got faith in you, A Seeker. Let us know when you get it. This one came out with the annual. This one all of a sudden has a jump <laughs> price with buckets of blood on number 11. Blood. Last week, this was only do well. It says best offer on 100 bucks, which uh, wow. it took 90 bucks last week. Wow. wow. I would sell it. And then this week, uh, 125 best Ooh. offer where they took 115, but still, wow. if you go to two weeks or three weeks ago, this one was not that high. This is a more recent development for whatever reason. On this one, I don't know. When it came out with the annual, everybody wanted the next book, which is the yeah. annual. This was the hot one when those two came out mm-hmm. together. It was like that was secondary, but now yeah. I guess that one's coming up in the week. It's catching up. I want this one so bad. This annual. See, I had, I bought two, but I think I already sold the extra one on. Yeah, I know. Whatnot. Oh, like this I, annual will never be worth anything. <laughs> exactly. That's what I thought. I'm like, who's, who's going to care about this? It's an online annual. And, <laughs> who's care about this annual? Yeah. See, like, look, last week there were a million of these IDWs. 150. Well, you can say 67 to 150. That's a wide range for last week. Uh, but this week it's. <laughs> I don't believe. I think that shenanigans down below that three hundred. Jesus, that's got to be shenanigans. But it's there. What? Seventy-five to one hundred bucks. Is yeah, there's of, some. I've looked. I've looked at this <laughs> one on eBay. I don't know. I I know. Currently, it looks legit. Well, I know the, they're asking three hundred to three fifty right now. I don't. Nobody's yeah, bought yeah, that one. Yeah. But you can see yeah. other ones have sold since that one was the twenty-first. But yet on mm. the twenty-third, one sold for seventy-five, and on the twenty-fourth, one sold for ninety-nine dollars. Like, okay, what happened Same. to those guys? And Actually, this one's cool. limited to like two fifty or something. Did I read that? I have no idea. No, I thought they were all three hundred. I thought they were all three hundred. Uh, I don't know if any of that's true. Honestly, I don't know about the print run. I that seems a little low. Well, they said, unfortunately, and one of our friends has said it too. So it's not like we're trying to shoot down stuff. And but like 
when we got on for the one, there were they had 350 because it told you how many was available. There's 350 well, well, available. Well, I know so who you're referring you... to, but you, the person who mentioned that said, well, they just saw it was posted that way. Because, yeah, a lot of listings, people listing it on eBay will yeah, listen to say, listing it the 300 or they're saying things. I know for a fact Instagram. I saw one of these that was above 300. So, like, I think. And there are people... other exclusives of this, too, that are out there for. There is. So, so the annual, cover. yeah, there is a. That's the cover that was hitting. That's why people were selling this one, because the other one was doing really well. Yeah. Which is... But the other uh, one's then... like stagnant. Yeah, those were still. the cup. Those were like what, like a month ago, maybe or two months ago. But this week we had two new ones enter the fray, enter the party to wrap this yeah. up. So there's no last week's sales, but just this week, issue 12 oh. and issue 13 both uh, kind of came to market on the IDW store. But this week, issue 12 has all of a sudden kind of jumped to 130 to 100 bucks. But that's also in the wake. You see, those are both on the 25th. But that was after everybody first rushed. And this is the first one that sold out of the two. Issue 13, the last issue. This is the one that everybody jumped at first. And, and that's true. Wait. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, James. Are you saying you bought the annual, two of the annuals, and you haven't gotten them right? And they never shipped. Oh, yeah. You, you're that's you're lost. You oh, might yeah, get one. Then. Then. Yeah. But 13, so this, you can uh, see this oh, one. Right. 45 and jumped. As the week went on, 45, 50, then 130, 100 bucks, it started going up as the week went on with this one. So these are likely to come down, though, right? These, the 12 and 13? Probably. I would Probably. think. Probably. The other ones did. Like six, yeah. even six and nine, like those were like hit like a 80, yeah, 100 bucks. Yeah, I remember when, when six came out, the San Diego Comic Con, when it came out, they were asking like 100, $120, and it's coming yep. down to like Yeah, that, now so. it's, yeah, exactly. So it could happen. But then again, who knows now? Well, I mean, it depends. Like, yeah, see, like this one that's 300 that's sold for 99 That's a lie. You could say whatever you want, I guess. I mean, you'd have to call IDW to... Yeah. I, I just I don't believe there's only 300 because uh, I could have sworn I also oh, saw more yeah. than 300 of these more recent issues, too. So I don't understand why they would... Uh, oh, I have a favor. This is probably so, more like 1,000. If I were to guess, it's probably 500 yeah. to 1,000 somewhere. In there. I guess probably, uh, you guys... Uh, is any of the... the I guess heat or whatever you want to call it on these a little bit too because the they lost the license. Even yeah, though we knew that was coming for months. I think maybe, I think maybe it's a combination of losing. Li like I said, I think people like there's a there's a person there's still people that buy all the number ones, even if the print runs massive. They buy all the number ones. Well, it's the same thing. And then like for years, people were like, "Oh, this is end of run." So even when the numbers aren't tapering off at end of run, because this wasn't like an end of run it died off because the series wasn't popular. And I think that's what people are misconception about that. The end of run was at end of run. Cause they're taking a break to go into two, to push in all the little micros that they're going to do now with Obi and all the other in the Mandalorian, and all the other stuff and transfer over it. 13 didn't end just like 15 is not going to end because the, it wasn't pop. I mean, they're still doing one in 25s for the main title. They were still doing RI one in tens. Okay, IDW doesn't do RI 1 in 10s for books that aren't doing good or running off of the table. That's why... What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? They do it for every book. They do 1 in 10s. Yeah, I guess now they do. They, no, for right. every, even the Marvel books, they do it for basically everything gets a 1 in 10 on IDW. Not for the stuff that used to run off, though. IDW didn't used to do that for the stuff. Well, that I, I don't know what it used to be, but I'm just saying the last couple of years, all the Star Wars, everything's got a one in 10. All the Star Wars, the ventures, the turtle stuff, the every title I can think of has one in 10s. Let me ask you a question. Adventure. adventure doesn't have a one in 10 because yeah. villain, they dropped that off of villainy and uh, heroes around right right off the bat. So that's. No, they still have it. The one in 10s. Yeah. They just all don't do it for. Not for the oh, annual. Yeah, the one in tens for villainy are crappy. They're just the Frank of Villa covers in black and white. Yeah, in black and white. As I ha I had a number five that I got rid of today, actually. Huh. Let me ask you a yeah. question. When these books go to ID, when I mean, these books go to uh, Dark Horse, you think the art's going to be better? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You, 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 tell, me what, tell me what, chat, tell us what, what book you're picking up from Dark Horse right now that's so great. The Witcher. Yeah, I mean, like. as far as art goes, they've had some good books. I don't know if they've had some like good comics as a whole, like between writing and art, but they get some good artists. I think it's still, if they're still run. geared towards, if they're still geared towards children, or, no. or, or then I don't think the art. And one bonus, be... 
great, in my opinion. At least there was a little way. middle part, especially when they did the sap stuff, where the art actually turned out, in my opinion, to be okay. But they used so many different variants of art throughout the Avenger thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I Republic changed it around too. It started to get better in my opinion on the back end. Didn't, didn't Dark Horse have all those burger books? Those those weren't bad. You know? Yeah, they weren't yeah. bad. Yeah, you know, the old Vertigo uh, editor. Anyway, we'll see. I'm just saying, like the numbers didn't drop off in the in, in either High Republic because Marvel see, definitely doesn't. Another thing drop too off. is that is Dark Horse okay? IDW is yeah. basically for kids, but do you think Dark Horse will not have it make a little bit more edgier? Because be in all ages. It, it'd be back to a uh, now they probably have to do the all ages because Marvel has the license to do the regular stuff, so it's yeah. I think I think they're gonna do all they're doing all ages at Dark Horse, right? JJ, still they haven't changed that's that what yet. they said in the original press release. They haven't no. announced like exactly what the content like because you got Claudia Gray writing that quest for the Jedi, but and I don't think they announced it was all ages or anything. I assume it is. Go ahead. Sorry. Marvel's probably not going to let them. Yeah, not going to let them do, do else. something along the same path that they're doing. I highly doubt it. All ages is very questionable, though, because I remember first talking about when IDW got it, and we thought they were going to do like Spidey and Marvel team up, like they did in IDW for the other Marvel stuff. And I think that's what they are expecting, but that is not what they gave us. Like it wasn't. Mm -hmm. It really wasn't kiddish. They were. They gave us. I mean, you now there's. It was reminded us more of Dark Horse Jedi vs Sith than it did yeah. Spidey Tales. No, it's just like uh, it's just like movies or anything else. You can, if you know what you're doing, you can push the the quote unquote ratings envelope a little bit. Eh. Either way, but. I don't actually think we're going to see much of a. Hopefully, it gets. Yeah. Hopefully, it's stayed good quality. Because does anybody have a problem with the IDW? I thought the IDW series. I know Jedi doesn't, but I, I thought the IDW series was better for the majority of the run than the Higher Republic Marvel series. I don't we think can talk out. about that when we rank. Let's get oh, our, hey, our rank. Up. <laughs> you can tell me how much you like this, that, or the other. That's what this point is for. It's a good segue. Get in there, Dom. Dom, what a great segue. Thank you. <laughs> all right, let's rank. We're going to rank all the series and everything else, comic wise, because we did it with novels the other you day. Know what? So. Meanwhile, as I pushed you into doing this, I didn't put the overlays in, did I? Yeah, so there we go. Good job. Way to set that one. <laughs> <laughs> but to be wonders fair, of live I was, television. I, I I was busy. We just gotta wait like ten. Oh, so anyways, what we're gonna rank this time is we're gonna rank both Marvel and we're gonna rank Adventures. And are we ranking like Magna, all, all comic arcs and miniseries, or most okay. comic arcs and miniseries? I don't they're, think we're they're, gonna. Do they're that. uploading there, Marco. You can pick which one to there. start with. Are you they're uploading now? Yep, there you go. I'll put them in. I okay. Now that's this is on me because I wasn't even looking at this. Yeah, I, you got to do this part. You got to you got to do the okay. Uh, well, just I think we need to wake Jedi up to start Jedi off. So I'm going to rank this right here, Edge of Balance. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, what's your pick on the the Magna book? Oh, uh, let me unmute my mic. Uh, this is probably ten, right? <laughs> ten. I thought this. I thought this was an easy way to transform. Um, I didn't even read it. I have no idea. I thought it was an easy way to transform Magna and have uh, Mag Mag Manga. 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 No, or this is not Manga. If you want to get ten, Ma whatever. You think this this is in ten, right? No, this is nine. I think it's a nine. nine. How about a nine? There's one worse than this. I think it's nine. I mean, <laughs> I, I've read the second half. It, it improves it a little bit, but not much because the writer, one well, one of the writers, I should say, is different. Um, but we did like, just so uh, to make it clear, we did split up the. Uh, the High Republic into two arcs and the High Republic Adventures into two arcs. So you guys can vote correct. That. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So we're putting it at nine. Chad is nine a, because there's. I think there's one worse edge than this. Seven, edge the seven. Edge seven. Like nine seems good start. I like the cover. <laughs> I like yeah. the cover. No, it's not that it's terrible. I just. I just think that really yeah. where it falls. That's where it falls for me. I thought it was easy to read. It was very. Even the art was kind of. The art wasn't bad, but for a manga art, it's. Mm -hmm. Kind of run of the mill. It was kind of yeah, vanilla yeah, yeah, in a yeah. way. Yeah. All right, put it in nine. Well, that's why I said it was an easy entry piece. But all yeah. right, put it in nine. It's there we go. Book. No, that's not the free book. No, not the free book. book. That's the free one. Oh, no, 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 I'm talking about the whole series. Oh, that's not the free. I mean, the whole series. No, the little trade. This guy, like the little trade. Oh, paperback okay. Oh, the thing. trade. Oh, okay. It, yeah, like I said, it's easy. It's an easy entrance in. All right. Um, if we're gonna do, oh, you put the. <laughs> that's cute. What are you going with next? 
I'm gonna go with Higher Public One, the first arc. So this was like Higher Public Two starts here, just so you guys know. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the, yeah, the issues one through five. One to six. Six. Yeah, no, five. So what, it was five. Okay. I thought it was six. There's five in the oh. uh, in the trade paperback. That's how they broke yeah. them up by fives. Now we're getting one, the though. third arc from uh, you know eleven to fifteen is right. Well, I think this is probably gonna be around seven. I six. No, you know what? actually more of a five. I actually no, like I, the first yeah. arc. The first yeah, I'm I'm, I'm with Marco on this. I didn't like the Drangir Dengir. I just yeah, like the well, we're stuck by the start. But you see, it was all the beginning to get these things going. Oh, you didn't need to. It yeah. really. This started. is where I thought if we were talking, this Ventures was better at the start of mm -hmm. the two. Yeah, okay. Well, no, that's I mean, what I how I felt. Really, I, mean, I I think it's right. I think I, I was going to say eight, but I didn't want everybody to shoot me with the eight. But it did introduce uh, a lot of good characters. It did. It did. You know? It did introduce a bunch of characters. It, did. it introduced. I don't know. Good. It introduced a bunch of characters. I don't know if yeah. all of them. It's good. a lot of exposition, but I think it's this. Nine. The first arc. This was. arc, they lost a lot of readers in. I think they had they had momentum going in the High Republic stuff, and I think people were more hyped in the first five or six issues of this arc. It yeah, really kind of killed. Throw this below edge. Yeah, he wants to throw it below edge. I mean, I do remember going through these, and it was. When we were reviewing them, I think even like the chat was not. There'd be some people coming in, but I think it was people who uh, positioned themselves maybe as like, yeah, great it wasn't stuff. great. Saying, like, These were good, but like the people who were actually reading it were like, yeah, it's disappointing. I just remember that through the first arc. We're getting and a then, lot of seven. You know what it was? It was a lot of Book of Fett. This is going to get better. This is going to get better. This is going to get better. That's what it no. was. No, because book book of Fed at least gave us those ooh moments like oh they're yeah. gonna throw this person in like we didn't get that here. I think I think eight wouldn't be such a bad thing, um, but we got seven. I see a lot of seven. I mean, we will have to move and yeah, shift as we fill there. things out. But yeah. look, Sam, I'm yeah, comfortable with eight myself. It wasn't it was seven. Yeah, and the Ava Chris stuff didn't make sense in the. There's a lot of stuff. If you go back and read the first five, it seems even now out of place. Unfortunately. All right, now the second half though. Jedi, we'll let you pitch this to us because it was going to get better, right? Oh, yeah. I thought it was good from the beginning, but I'm, I'm, I'm very quiet because I know I'm going to get outvoted on all of these. Oh, I'd no, say this is gotta, probably a, a – I'd give this one like a three. <laughs> well, there's, there's that. I like this better than the I first arc far because they were wrapping up the Drangir stuff. Maybe, maybe I do a like four. I do, I, do, I do like this better. I will say it's got to be probably in the it, – right now it's got to be probably in the top five. I think five or six. Yeah, yeah, I think it's in the top yeah, five. I, I'm, I'm kind of on board with that. I think you got to move – I think you got to move the first half down. I don't – this is definitely two to three points better. Maybe. The, we, maybe. But we, we'll fit it in. We don't have to worry about it now until we need the spot. I say put it to move. I got it. Part two is about five. Okay, that's where everybody's kind of putting that's about it. Five. Yeah, yeah. That's, five, our, four, our, or five our, is pretty fair. Right? That's for now. Five. All right, all right. I'll put it this way though. Right. To me, like I would normally probably even put it a little bit lower, but it gets a little bit of a bump too. In that, I think they started to really write the ship here, and I mm -hmm. think I got to give them a little bit of extra credit for that. Yeah, because it's hard to turn it's hard to turn a a boat, so to speak, like that around right. when you're kind of. You know, See, there's middling in the first five issues, and then you make it better. But. Yeah, yeah. Well, the badass stuff. Yeah. Well, you know what? We'll just do this because it'll kind of level set. So we'll do the adventure stuff then. Uh, adventure volume one, which goes up to what? Does that go up to six? Six. No, these are also fives. Really? So there yeah, was a five. Was a trade. Was a five. The, they considered volume one. It was five. Okay. Five. Oh, man. Volume one. Has I didn't read them as a trade, so yeah. I think yeah, you're probably right. Five makes sense. It's gonna have the. Uh, 11, 12, 13, and probably the bake off and the annual is would be my guess is what they'll Separate put in the annual trade annual just so that we could get a 10, 10 bucks. So, but I would say if this is the first half up to when they give us the part with quartz uh, and Sav, I would say this this would probably be two ish. Three, three, Tom, two, two, and three, two, and three, two, I'll say three or even four is fair. Three kind of area, personally. I like this one, I like the start. Yeah. I thought it was good. Okay. I almost go four, but I mean, I thought it was good too. Four is not bad. Four is no, good, no, it's but... not. It's not. I'm well, I, looking at the rest and going, I don't know what I, I want. I, right, if, you if you try to put if you try to put Monster Peak in the top two, you're getting yeah. made. Oh no, but there's other good stuff. All right, put it put it in three for right now. We'll see if we have to move it. We might yeah, have we, to move. We it. can move again. I can move things around pretty quickly as long as we. So I thought the second move. half was definitely better too. I still like this. Um, yeah, the second half. I mean, this is to mm -hmm. me. This is the two. Or okay. the three instead of 
Okay. Uh, three, 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 adventures one through four. Yeah. Well, I think the threes are going for the last one. Yeah, I think the threes are for the last one. So we now we need to see where everybody's gonna park the volume two. I put it as two. I'd be fine with the two. I think because short backstory did have a lot, like a lot of people really like that backstory too, which falls into this one. Here we go. We're gonna start. Wayseeker's starting off our ranking now of this second half is three. Okay, second half is three. That means we want the bump. Mm-hmm. Oh, Sam says two, so. two. I don't know. I think you have to put it one notch above what you did for one. I think you have to put one notch above one. Yeah, right. which I agree. I mean, so it was a better arc than one. We move one down to four, or just we just put it in the two for now. And I only see one thing. Oh well, there could be two. I see one, maybe two options to. I see what I mean. I know what I think number one was. I um, do too. Who, I know what I'm picking as well. But um, here we'll so, do this for now. We can always move. Yeah. Ship. As things come up, it is yes. yes. We did some of his backstory, uh, not like Eye of the Storm depth of backstory, but yes. We're, yeah, we're doing Eye of the Storm. Where are you putting Eye of the Storm since you asked for it? Here you go, basically. And I will tell I actually, you. Go ahead. What do you got, Tom? Go ahead. No, I enjoyed. No, I enjoyed the first issue. Mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. there's only two uh, High Republic books that I really enjoyed a lot more than the regular series. So. I know that one's going to be on here eventually. This, yeah. this definitely can be tw uh, between uh, two and three, because I actually, it, I like this character. I'm starting to like this character more and more now. That's a good argument, actually. Yeah. JJ, where do you have it? I'm about with Dom. I, on me, this is. I'd move if it was me. I'd move Adventures Volume One down one and put this at three. Even though I haven't seen. The second yeah, we only got one issue. It. That's what I think is going against it. Uh, it's only got one part so far. Yeah. It's incomplete. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know if you put it up there that high yet. I, I would be, I'd be fine at a four. I don't think they're going to tank it in the second half issue because I've read the preview. The preview seems good. Yeah. So I'll yeah. tell you right now, don't tank it. The I mean, there's only two issues, yeah. so there's not much room they can. That's the one argument there. I have. The one argument I would have it down to the, that I would put it down to four is because it's only two issues. Two in yeah. almost but not I like more the character. The character is starting to really grow on me. Watching him develop yeah. in the story itself as the uh, the arcs go Very on. True. I will tell you this. Back. I will tell you this. How much they gave us in the first uh, book out of these two books is a lot more of the back, <clears throat> a lot more character development than they give us in the second one. So, if that makes a difference, Ruben, you got anything on this one? I. I, I really yeah. liked it. I mean, I was oh. I was going to go with Don with three, but I actually really, really liked it. I would have actually put it in two and dropped them both. Mm. That's just me. All right, put in. I think you can put in three, then split it up. Put in three. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Wayseeker's also know. there. And Jedi, yeah. Jedi's got to weigh in now. Yeah, what do you got to weigh in? Two. Really? I almost want to put it at one, but I'll put it at two. <laughs> okay. Put in There's two. book coming. That is number one. I can honestly see that. So are okay. we putting it to two? Yeah, both. Put it. There's two twos in the chat. There's there are two twos in the chat. I was gonna say there are four. Um, I uh, liked it. Don't get me wrong. The only thing I'm holding against it is that it's just not done yet. I haven't. Well, the only thing I'm holding against is only two, and I think the first book was the stronger of the two. So um, we can put it. But <laughs> even, if you, if, even if you put these two on the in the best, if you pick three and four, and those five stories on each one of those, if you pick the best two, these two, these two still beat it. That's a good point. I don't think yeah, I don't think the I like the courts and the yeah, staff. Yeah. I would yeah, say right. that was probably one of the better stories in there. But okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, everybody's got it's an opinion based thing. Yeah. Um, are we doing this as one? Right, we're doing this. Yep. I like this one. one yep. All the That's my favorite. Gonna argue? Anybody going to argue? I'm there with it. No. Uh, I'm not gonna argue. Yeah, I can go one or I can go two. No, no, why? No, that's that high. Oh. I don't think. I mean, I would. This is the one between this one and Eye of the Storm. I think one or two, either way, I could, I'd be good either way. Okay. Mm. All right, put it at one. Well, that's what we got. Yeah, you know, to me, that was the most interesting in. series in this yeah, whole everybody. thing. The way that played out, 
Mm-hmm. Was so interesting because I thought after the first issue, I was like, "Man, they're going to blow this thing." This is <laughs> like he's just making like yeah, lounge singers, like a private investigator, and like you no, know, it's, it's funny when we first saw. This I thought they were going to blow it so bad this. after one, but I loved it in the end. You no, know, it's, it's funny. funny when we first saw this come out. We, we were debating on how it's going to be, like the X Files and this and that, and Miami Vice. Yeah, Miami. Mm-hmm. It turned out really good. That's why I enjoyed it. Out of all the uh, stories, that was the the best story arc. That I enjoyed. All right. So, I, so everything you guys said about this, I'm going to throw up the book that I think was opposite of this one. We kind of were like, this is going to be, could be really good. And even the first one came out and we still had high expectations. I'm like, this one, we were like, oh, don't blow it. This one, we're like, oh, they can't blow this. Mm. Yeah. Eight, seven. I was going to say I seven. I, I think we bump. The other one down, and maybe oh, or this could be. Oh no, 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 no! I think this kind. Of, I think this has like one good book. Is, it, is this available as a trade yet? Yeah, yeah. I mean, might. I almost wonder if I sat down and I read it as an actual it. trade or a graphic mm-hmm. novel, like it was supposed to be. Now, if it, it, it would be better. Yeah. Ooh, ten. Screw the comics. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah, I don't think stuff. it's ten, but I'm secret. fine with eight. What do you guys think? Yeah, well, I think you don't play around. I think I think you can put it. You might be able. To I mean, I'm almost, I'm almost of the opinion. Wait, like to me, this is tied with maybe Edge of Balance, or maybe Edge of Balance is even a little bit better. I think but, I think you yeah. can move Edge of Balance up one and move this down to nine. That's exactly what I was going to say, Marco. All right, yeah. exactly. What I was I'm on, I'm on board with that. I, I'm on board with that. Yeah, five Sam put it at five, so I think we got to move it up. But, uh, I mean, well, we got nine. We can't put it at ten. All right, no, no. There's tens. I already got tens. Book. I don't care what you guys say. I'm already got tens. <laughs> <laughs> ten is locked in. <laughs> oh, you know, no, 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 no. You know where I, I got? I've got ten on L O C K and Wayseekers already been already mad about it. Um, what are we gonna do next? We can do our number six because I think this is number six because it's got my man in it. I would argue that this is probably underrated at six because uh, it's got my man. And then after we read that one book which we mentioned that it was her first appearance was in here in the crew. And then JJ forgot about it. <clears throat> hey. uh, the annual. I don't know why we use this cover. It's the worst out of the, the five. Hey, Cause it was the a, I just went with the a, I wasn't trying to be cute with the it. Cover. Uh, we, 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 we pumped the hell out of the B cover. I know, um, but that's not the whole, that's not the point of the reading list. I just it's went with... our, one of our favorite characters. And if we're going to sell it, the storyline for one of our favorite characters is in the B cover. I, think I know. Should... Yeah. But you don't need the cover to sell it. Oh, I think so. I think if we would put the B cover up, it would have been four or three. I think since you put this cover up, you're going to be like, wow, that art really sucks. And they're going to move it down to a six. Hey, if, if, these, <laughs> if these folks have been hanging around two and a half hours with us already. Yeah. We I can't unsee it after Jedi said it in chat, it. but it looks, it definitely looks like a Disney evil queen. I don't think they have. <laughs> this yeah, this is I, I missed that. I missed that. that. Now I can't unsee that. Yeah, Thanks, it's it 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 is. Yeah. Whatever the best cover you think of the annual in your head, that's what we're going to say. Um, you know, it's got Crash Story in it. It's got her whole crew. They mm-hmm. did a great job in the novels. If you guys didn't read the novels, they did a great job with her character. I mean, just, does that detract from it at all, though, that it's, it's not like a – The art's Some of it's just – does it detract at all that some of it's just adaptation of novel? No, it's pre ad. You think? I mean, rather than an original story like a like we saw at the beginning of Adventures or Eye of the Storm is, or something, does that detract from it? Or no? no so five. What's the chat say? Five. That's why I put it there. It's a chat. We got a. No, we, we can never judge the book by its cover. Way secrets at five. I think it's a five. I mean, and we get we get the, we get a story, a new story with the, the blade. You know, we got um. Again, the only thing I got going against it is that it's just it's just one issue. It's like well, it's annual. It's an annual no anthology. It's quick. That's all. Pig kid. What kid? Was this pig kid too or no? Was that a different annual? Pig no, kid. Annual. no, was it pig kid? Remember they had the, the, the whole family of people stealing stuff. On on. Uh, Oh Jesus Christ! Um, it's been a long weekend. It's yeah, it's getting yeah, it's getting <laughs> late. So, My brain. I'll, I'll double check. We'll go over it next week, anyways, because it's showing up in our next week's uh, first appearance stuff. All right, uh, or at least the eight. Don't jump. Right, throw up the ten. No, yeah, okay. Throw up number ten. Is that all we have left? Is one? That's all that's left. It's number ten. You ready for number oh, ten? Wow. <laughs> I already loaded it up. You don't even need to. There it is. The bake off. Uh, you know, <laughs> the bake off. 
So I'll say this. It's one thing, it, you know, if they introduce characters and they use them in something else, that's fine. But like the actual story behind the Bake Off was completely yeah. unnecessary. That's what we're doing. We're not... the term. Like, yeah. can't you put those characters in something else that's more interesting? Like, I don't know. Yeah, this isn't a spec list. This isn't a first appearance list. This is actual reading how much you enjoyed this yeah. story. A and fan list of this like, was hot well, garbage. I think even with it, like, what are you really on this book? What would you really speculate? The two Jedi Masters, the one that's, that's a true the, statement. The plant guy and like the the other one that really just don't do much. I mean, because are you going to put that above? Like, even the best of the characters, even if you take Wayseekers form, okay, they're going to write these two characters are going to show up. That's fair. Oh. I think that's true. That yeah. statement right there is true. That is and true. My expectations so. were low, and is, but it was still bad. Was bad. <laughs> oh, I, no, hey, this is why. Because at least in Monsters Peak, there's a couple. There's a couple in there that I remember, like kind of really reading. A I, couple of moments that were kind of cool. I remember okay. we were saying yeah. how bad the Bake Off was. We were making corn ever since the FOC. We were making jokes about it. So I had very low expectations. Out of all these books. Every single book that's in these series, the only one I put down and pick back up and put down and pick back up to get through was that one. The stories were not good in it. I actually end up skipping a couple pages to see if it was, you know how like sometimes you're like, okay, well maybe there's something good in this comic. I don't know if you read a lot of comics, you're always like, yeah. okay, let's try to find the good thing in this comic, especially because we have to review this shit. And if mm. we get on here and just say the comics dog shit, people are like you didn't read it, blah, blah, blah. So I'm looking in here to try to find out what maybe, not in my point of view, somebody else would like out of this comic, and I, I really couldn't. It was that bad. Where, like, I could see where some people did like some of the parts of uh, uh, Mo Monsters on the Peak. Monsters, and I, I still feel like if they just released it, release it as one, the trade, like, we might feel it's a little bad, differently. By the way, guys, I'm sorry. As, as opposed to stretching this out <laughs> over four months of frustration exactly. and we're like, this is what you're giving me. Like, Baggy say we should even put it on the list then. Okay. It did come All with right. a free recipe. <laughs> Bake off is nine. Jedi, did you make the recipe or did you have your wife make the recipe from that issue? The story was. Nope. Really <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> What's the point of the story? Again? The book was so bad. I didn't even try the recipe. <laughs> Here we go. If, and this is, this is how we'll make it up. This is how we'll, I'll let, wait, we'll skip all a chat because Wayseeker is pounding the table for this book. Okay. Wayseeker. What was the point of this book? <laughs> I don't think he's. I don't think he's arguing for a point. I think he's just saying that. Uh, I think word. he just disliked monsters. <laughs> I think he's just saying that Tim was worse in his opinion. That's ten. Yeah. So please tell us. He brings it up almost every one. Whenever I knock it, he brings. He's the first one to bring it up. I mean, it's not like it's not like nine is a good rating either. Oh, no, 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 no. I know. <laughs> and I'll move it up to nine. I'll move it up to nine. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying you can't just say nine. You got to sell me. What was yeah. the point of this story? You, you, you realize you're arguing <laughs> over the point of what's worse on your shoe, dog shit or bubble gum? They both suck. To I don't thought this was dog shit, though. <laughs> this is really dog shit. Uh, he, really, he really, he really, really hates, hates monsters. monsters. There you go. Yeah, but I really hate monsters. This isn't telling us what the fuck was in the Bake Off. I know it was in the Bake Off. It was shit. All right. I get his, I get his point he said it earlier, though. I, you know, For me, I, I feel the same way in that I was patient. I expected to be disappointed by the Bake Off. I didn't expect yeah, to be disappointed by Triple P. Like, that's why he wants to put it down because he had high expectations. But if the Bake Off was made, made for kids. At least, at, least Monsters yeah. Peak, at least Monsters Peak told us a story. Bake Off didn't did, did, there was no fucking story there <laughs> it's unnecessary well, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter okay this list is right. we, we, there's we a first appearance in there too there's two first appearances locking in pete locking it in who cares there's my background <laughs> again there you go there we go all right good stuff guys thank you for all that what else? oh are we gonna open cards we're opening up cards you want to do cards and trivia at the same time? <laughs> I'll just open stuff and I think camera. we're gonna pass a trivia because if we don't, we will. Jedi is gonna eat himself. We'll do a trivia, we'll do a trivia, a big oh. trivia next oh, week. Why is Jedi right. gonna eat himself? We want to do cards. He's hungry because it's uh, dinner you know, time. Hungry. Hungry. For cards. This guy We'll do this. We can do cards, and if people want to bail, they can bail. Yeah. Jedi's wife is texting him, dinner's getting cold. You need to get off. Yeah, right, Jedi? Am I wrong? It's going to take a while. It's 24 packs. Right? Is it okay yeah. if we move trivia to next week, Jedi? Is that okay? That's fine, but I'm just saying I don't know if I'm going to stick around. No, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the point. Yeah, the point is right. you can go to dinner. 
You can come back when dinner's done. We'll still be here. All right. It is worth Let's pack some packs. All right. Yeah. All Love right. you, Jedi. I'll see you, brother. See you, Jedi. Later, Jedi. All right. Hopefully this works. Hey, so, Ru- Ruben or Zom, if you guys want to go too, it's okay. Yeah, yeah you guys yeah. Can pop on, pop off, whatever you need to do. <laughs> the Ruben, we suckered Ruben in. He's got to tell us a story. Plus, he's in oh, a different time zone too. Remind, remember, me, Peter, own the, me, Pete, and Dom are the only East, East, East time zone things. All the rest of you guys got it easy. Yeah, I, I already took off tomorrow. All right, I didn't. I, I, I switched to water because I really want a hoagie. I'm going to Wawa and I'm going to get myself a hoagie as soon as we're done because it's set in my mind. I'm hungry. Wawa's over 24 hours. I'm oh, damn. completely good. I'm going to go get yeah. something to eat. <laughs> oh, hey, Wawa. Pete, did you see there's a there's a con in New Jersey. Uh, TY's going to it. Uh, when? Uh, I'll look it up while while yeah while because I'm going to a con in a couple of weeks. The King Con. It. Yeah, I think that's it. The King Con. Right. Oh, cool. I'm gonna go because cool. that's people are going go. there so people know to show up. I will. I will because I'm actually gonna go. I'm gonna go meet Ben C. I mean, I've not met Ben C in person. Like, so he's going to King Con. Tell people to go to the con. The con they too. can meet you in person. Yeah, th- that's what I just said. Yeah, go. yeah. Meet you in person. You give autographs. Run a video. Oh, oh yeah, you gotta give autographs on your card. All right. <laughs> What's the hit on this? Whoa. Yeah, so we got the th- oh, I got the thing. Slide. I'll back a little bit. JJ, put your hands down a little bit. There, down. Uh, okay, there we go. Yeah. Uh, better? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. It'd be better if I switch. Hang on. We'll, we'll try. Damn. Where the hell is TY TV at? File, T- File tie 23, TV 93, if you yeah, haven't. Let's do, uh, will this work better? Does he have the can- All right, so while he's showing cards, these are the hits. Can you guys read those? Oh, he was here already. It's yeah. New Jersey Collective Fest. He didn't go with Collective Fest. Oh, different thing. All right, so 2009, yeah. uh, base set, 120 cards. Hmm. hmm. Nice cards. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. we got Hughes. There's Campbell. These are interesting. Yeah, yeah. Well, first Tim. Tim. Yep, there's a Campbell. There's a Tim. There's a oh, lot of comic artists. Tim? Ashley Ooh, Wood. Nice. What happened to Ashley Wood? So, I mean, a lot Ashley of Ashley Wood. Just... Can you guys still hear me? Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. So, How many packs are there? 24. I'm going to try to go fast. Right. But there's a lot of original art in this. Uh, that Basically, what they did was they had they had a, the Galaxy series from like 95 to 97. Yeah, we opened and then, up um, those. Ooh, Grievous. Starting in, <clears throat> yeah, starting in 97. That's some art. Weird, huh? Yeah. That is starting not- in uh, '97. They stopped, and then they picked it back up in 2009. So 12 years later, and then so basically used all new art early on. I killed. They got a lot all. of prequel art in here too. There you go. Well, I, I like the posters for the prequels. Ooh, what's that? What is that from? A Belagona. Uh, I know, but what's it from? It's William O'Neill, The Last Sunrise. Okay. Hmm. Maybe a storyboard. Yeah. There's new vision, so it could show, be, uh, you know, just art they did for the card. Alderaan, I guess. <laughs> did you see there's an Inquisitor back there? That's is that yeah, Dirge? Is that Force? Is that the Force Awake? Or the Force? <coughs> What's the name of the video? It is Force Unleashed. You're right. Yeah, there, there, there's a lot of uh, there we go. They're pretty I'll I'll save this in case we need it. Get the thing off the corner so we can see these Dane cards better. <laughs> so the hits in this, there's different insert cards. There are foil cards. Uh, which I think we're like one in every three pack, and then one in every four. There's <laughs> autographs. There's sketch cards. We may or may not end up with a sketch card in this. I'm hoping we do. Um, some good Obi art. Nice. Is that too close? No, it's fine. It's awesome, Sam. Yeah, well, he, oh, wow. Wawa. Uh, I love Wawa. <laughs> what the hell is that? It delivers. Uh, I think it's Air to the Empire. Is it Air to the Empire underneath? <laughs> The thread yeah, of the on. Dark Horse right on. On. There it is. There's a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of, you'll see a lot oh, of card card card. So I think this is a foil card. Let's see here. This looks like an insert card of some kind. Okay. A puzzle card, maybe. There are some puzzle cards in this one. There are uh, puzzle cards. Star Wars. I'm going to say it's a etched puzzle card. 16 patches and foils, etched autographs, printing plates. I don't know, actually, now that I look at it. Let's see. Is it a printing plate? No, I think it's just a regular card. But there was something I saw it, I on here where it said, uh, where the hell was it? I don't know. There was something. Maybe just an etched puzzle yeah. card. Yeah. Here's a Campbell art. Oh, there's a Campbell. There you go. There's the Campbell. Slave Lady Campbell. That's cool. 
Open it's the Bib Fortuna card. Tarkin. <laughs> We're going to let Tarkin die. So, as you can see on the pack there, you got the Dark Horse symbol, oh, so you can see a lot of Dark Horse yeah. comic cards. Speaking of which, was that Republic 51 cover? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First Dern's cover. Yeah, I like that cover. I see something shiny in this pack. Oh, they got foil. Ooh. Yeah, here's a foil card. That's a, definitely a foil there. Oh, I so think those are one in every three for the silver. Check the back. Silver foils are one in three. I don't think oh. they're numbered. Okay. No? This is kind of before Tops did a lot of their numbered cards. There you go. Collect all 15. Okay. Okay. I just want to know what this is. Yeah, but the foils have different levels of foils. You got the silver, the bronze, the gold. And the refractor. I like that mall card. Oh, that's, that's a good mall, yeah. Yeah. Hell to Empire. The Empire. Oh, Air of the Empire. Oh, that's, that's nice. Good one. You put that with the comic book. Not going fast. <laughs> I got rid of one of those today. Hey, there we go. Ooh. So this is a more of a oh, hit. Maybe? You got a bronze foil. Oh, bronze. That's nice. that's mall. I think it's bronze. It has more. I don't know if it camera picks it up, but it's more of a tint. Okay. So, bronze parallel. All right. I figure I take your word for That's it. That's a bit of a hit. I think those are like one in every. I want to say they were like one. I can't remember what they were. One in every sixteen or something. So. Uh, the bronze it says one in twenty four. Which is weird. You would think silver oh, okay. would be higher so than bronze. Yep. There's twenty four packs in a box, so that's pretty good. That's a cool one. Got. It. Is Ooh, that Ventress or is that? Yeah, it's Ventress. Ventress versus Anakin. <laughs> what the hell are you pointing at, Chewie? A lot of Dark Horse coming. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I bought this really cheap as, a, as an open box, so we'll see what we find in here. <laughs> well, I was, I was sworn to that it wasn't searched, but, you know, hey. You gotta figure, how you can you know, search right? this this one, I mean, the cards that are in here aren't going to be like the thick, like weighted things where they can possibly weigh the packs or. Well, there's, there's some, yeah, there's oh, supposed to be one sketch card in every huge, box. That's huge, that right? Cool. It's three foils in a row. It's nice. Oh, that's yeah, that was one of the Hughes. There's actually two Hughes. There's a Boba Fett Hughes. Yeah. I got Grievous ah, versus Soka. Soka. Soka Grievous. You know that artist is. It looks familiar. Not Grant Gould. I kind of like how the back has the black and white. Uh, like, I'm yeah. not a black and white sketch fan, but I like that well, that's like on it. the back to make it different. Is that another Thrawn? Yeah. Well, oh, in the nice. back, they give you a ton of... It was a Thrawn, yeah, Heir to the Empire cover. On the back, they give you a ton of detail, too, which is another nice thing about this set. Mm -hmm. Get some Han art there. Hmm. That's cool. That would chewy. Looking. It looks like a weird Han. I know. Right? Bowcaster. Valentine's Day. Whispering hey, sweet. Well, this we just hit all of us a silver. We just hit our fourth foil in a row. Well, the silver say they're one in three, so they should be more. Yeah, you should get a few. Though. Oh, or sing. Yeah, four in a row is a lot. That's true. Yeah, they're all kind of bunched together. Cool. I think that's Luke. Weird dancing yeah. Luke. You know what kind of Empire series? Right. That's Empire Twenty Seven. Yeah. I just got. I just yeah. sold one of those today too. Yeah, like I said, a lot of Dark Isn't Horse that, art. A lot like of artists. Battlefront. Yeah, Battlefront uh, art. Yeah, yeah like the cover box art. Original Battlefront, yeah. Be, Not EA Battlefront. Did I? Is that who bought it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can't remember. Yeah, is that what it was? 70 books. Yeah, let's see. We've seen that one. Here's one we haven't seen yet. That may be an etched foil. It's got a look to it here. Oh, it does. Oh, wow. It's scratchy. So, oh, yeah. oh, we're awesome. going to see what yeah, next oh, foil card is. Nice. Uh, one in six packs. Like this. There you go. Not bad. Maul versus. Oh, you got that one already. Qui Gon. Ooh, there you go. Yeah. I like I've seen, posters. I've seen all those. I'll just get. Yeah, I like the poster cards. There's some poster art in this. Yeah. There's a lot of comic art. And there's poster art and video game art. Mainly is what they made this this series out of. Yeah. There's some poster art. I don't think we've come across too much of it yet. Some, but not a lot. 
Yeah, yeah. I've seen that hot, I think. Oh, yeah, we did see that. Here's hot. one for Dom. We saw, how many times did we see this image in Book of Boba? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, I think uh, a little bit less than we saw him staring out the window at uh, really the ship flying away. Look, not in his face window is going to show up. So, <laughs> yeah. I hope they do a Mace Windu one off. I hope Obi works so they can do a Mace Windu one. Yeah, that would be cool. cool. I like that. Maybe we'll get Mace Windu. I don't like how that looked like she was we'll getting Mace head Windu right in uh, Obi Wan or mention. That was weird. Oh, yeah, we'll see yeah. if they, they mention them. So. Maybe. Mac would be at Mace Windu who didn't get along used to hang out. <laughs> Yoda? Hmm. That looks like New Hope oh. opening. Yeah, I like that Vader. Here's uh, some redone comic art. Cover something. Some. That looked familiar. Ooh. That's from the uh, what's yeah, the name from uh, the old Marvel series? series. Marvel oh yeah, series. yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, Numenera. Yeah, the, yeah. Like number forty-three or something. No, forty-three is Lando. Sixty, sixty-three. Yeah, here's oh, your original yeah, Hughes. Yeah, yeah. I don't think this was there. a cover. Sixty-two. So there's your original oh, there's Hughes. Hughes. Clone Wars. What? That's a Hughes. Yeah, it's Adam Hughes. Yeah, Hughes. That's the Hughes art. Ooh. I think that's Ashley Wood there. Yeah. That's off of that's off the Dark Horse. Uh, what's it called? Um, Hyper yeah. Hyper Wars. Yeah, isn't it like yep. the like in the thirties or somewhere in there? Like, Wars. I actually like the uh, the Clone Wars Wars cartoon. Wars. The Clone Wars cartoons uh, when uh, Padme was in the snowsuit. I think it's, this is Mara Jade, but it almost looks like Afra. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Goggles. Goggles. Who is that? Who did that one? Uh, who did the art? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one I look familiar. Tommy Lee Edwards. Hyper Stark Wars. Oh, Thank Tommy you, Lee Edwards. That's Hyper Stark. what it was. Is the Hyper Stark Wars. And another silver foil. Mm. Mall. Ooh. Oh, and it's the mall, too. That's the mall now. Do, do, do. Force Unleashed. Oh, yeah. oh, wait. We get a bronze mall, though, right? Yes. Yeah. So now you got a silver and oh, We did get a bronze mall. Like Are we going for a gold? Battle armor, Obi. Yeah, gold is uh, tougher. Am I holding them too close? Let me know. It's hot and chewy. No, no. Chewy had a bandana on that instead. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, that's a good yeah. one. It's a good one. It, look, it is a bandana or a, not it a, is, bandana, right? but a headband. A yeah, headband, yeah. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> very, very karate kid of him. Anyway. Big catch down. Chewie's like they drew first blood. <laughs> right. hey, so this is one of my favorite artists. So I'm glad I put this. One. We got our Tim. Oh, Tim. Tim. Oh, there you go. What's Tim Tim's? Doctor like Ball. Tim. No. He's a doctor. Oh. <laughs> put your balls away. <laughs> what is he fighting here? That's the creatures from underneath. In uh, what's it called? Or something that ended up the Jedi being, Slayer. You okay. sure? It looked like a teenage no. ninja turtle villain. <laughs> oh, that's the name of the card. I'm just... Oh, so this is actually an insert card. So this is a Lost Galaxy card. Oh yeah, one in twenty-four oh. packs. That's a oh. good pull. So you there get you one go. in a box. Good hit there. What is the Jedi Slayer? That's a box. Twenty-four packs is a box. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's ugly as shit. Yeah, Anakin <laughs> and Padme look terrible there. Yeah, is that uh, him telling you how much he doesn't like sand half. or? Him telling her how he just murdered a bunch of children. Exactly. Children. What the hell? Right, it goes like that. What the hell? Oh. They're cutting in half there. Was that what's her name? Uh, Sam Weasley. It's from Sam issue Weasley. three, betrayal. Sam Weasley. Sam Weasley. Sam Weasley. <laughs> Sam, Sam, Weasley. Weasley. Sam Wessel. Sam Wessel. Oh. Wessel. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sam Weasley. It looks a little bit like her. It doesn't say he was cutting in half. I make the Harry Aren't Potter you? references. Is it cut in half? Do what? No, we didn't do Dark Star. Do we do Dark? Do we do Dooku Lost Jedi yet? No, you guys talked about it a lot, but you didn't review oh, it. We talked, talked about it. it. I don't know if we reviewed it. Wait, so you want to come on and talk about it, bud? We did it when we talked about the Lost Twenty, but I mean, we didn't like review it. Yeah, you just talked about it. I love that book. I still got to listen to it. I got it in my audio queue, but oh, it's so good. Still trying to catch up on all the High Republic stuff. Yep. Figure out what this is. Midnight Horizon. Tuscan Raider. Riding a crate dragon? Yeah. It looks he's like holding it. The, yeah. Uh, the pearl. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well earned prize. Mm. Randy Martinez? Mm-hmm. 
Here's another cover, Dark Horse cover. Is that 65, I think? Republic 65. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basement. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Another foil. Maybe we'll race. We got some weeks that are going to be short run. That's why I was going to try to do the Kim thing in a couple weeks and stuff like that, Wayseeker. But... Or Vader Art. Um, it's kind of chewy. <laughs> maybe, we'll, maybe I'll find a way to split up the novels, kind of rank them and go through. Yoda. But yeah, I talk about. At least that looks like Yoda. Oh, look, everybody's favorite. The pod racing scene. Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. A lot. I think there's a lot of good stuff in there. There's actually a character that shows up in one of them. It's probably going to see him in. What the hell book does he show up in? Who's that? Uh, the guy, he's pink. He's the guy that, uh, about the library where Dooku was talking with, uh, what's his name? Kalias uh, Charity. He was in Temple, like Temple, Temple, Temple Peak, yeah. Oh, Temple <laughs> Peak. So we'll talk about him next week. Father, we, please. I thought they did a great job on it, Wayseeker. I thought, uh, I mean. Was, power. Uh, power. That's where I walked up to uh, <laughs> Scott during the, uh, who was that, Chicago? I like the Force Unleashed. Like it had to be like, Chicago. Um, More Star Hughes. Oh, oh, yeah. Purge. 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 Yeah. You were? Book. You want? Yeah. A little bounty hunter action. Nice. Nice Bosk. Call it Duke Complete. Uh, here's one of the poster covers. Count Duke. Was it? What are the cards in the pack? Lost in the first audio book they did. Seven Scott, cards in a pack. Scott said at uh, Celebration in Chicago that they, uh, they kept trying to pry to find out when they were going to. Um, Right, he's like, we're not doing that because it's. I go, okay, we'll stop. Nobody's gonna listen. Sure. Oh, more Hughes. I'm wrong about that. More right. Hughes. Oh, there it is. Right. Oh, there it is. Overdrive. Oh, uh, overkill. 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 Uh, nice card. Yes, I think it's a, a lot of foils in this set here. Nice. Nice. Yeah, it says well, one yeah. for three. It says one in every. Maybe three they shoved the foils in there. Took the sketch card. We're getting a good rank. We'll rank them, way seeker. We'll I bet he did take the sketch card out, but he missed the Lost yeah. Galaxy card. Obi. Oh, nice. Classic McGinnis, Obi. Well, was the box open already? The box is open. That's why I got it so cheap. But, yeah. You probably weighed them. Is that but I don't thing? know if you can weigh them to get some of these things. Like, there's... Aren't there pencils or some shit in them? Well, there's no. things like oh. shaped sketch cards and things like that. Mm -hmm. well, has... I don't think they're doing Jade, right? They're never going to do Jade. I no, feel like they won't. The outbound Flight, that's what I was thinking of. Mm. I met her. I She's great. Mm. Who? The, the, the woman that, yeah, she does a lot of yeah. cons. Yeah. She's oh, the woman who posed for it? Yeah, yeah. You got her Vader foil. There oh, you go. Nice. 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 We'll set here by the time we're done. How many are there in the. You need a gold. Right? Oh, we need a fat. Oh, 15 in a set of foils. Fat time with Dom. Make sure you're following time. Dom on IG. Make sure you're following Ruben on IG. Ruben is uh is dark. Right There's an interesting Edward one. Robinson. Mm -hmm. Hell is that? That shit. <laughs> wow. Stormtrooper. Why did you steal my Jack kid Davis car? art? Stormtrooper in the field. Jack Davis needs to. Find it looks a like a. Career. Yep. A storyboard from like on acid. <laughs> so. Don't forget to tune in Wednesday our live show. I'm going to give more of a breakdown of the, like, the con, go over some of the hot equipment. There. We're going to show some footage too, as a matter of fact. I didn't get a lot of footage because it was very packed. So I was selling too many books to. Uh, to do it, um, Kotar action. Oh, and, uh, yeah. I their names, the two brothers, I'm out and Dimo, Doyard, yeah. and Court, some shit like Checklist that. This card, I bet. Uh, they the were bounty hunters. Yeah. I thought bounty yeah, that or like the header first card, card, actually. Not checklist. Yeah, I was gonna say, if it's not the checklist, it's sort of like yeah, a header, header card. Quagon, Quagon foil. Nice. We almost had the man on camera, but he passed. Uh, Ooh, oh, I like that. Here we yeah. go. Oh, the the visionaries. Visionaries, yeah. Vision. I'll give you tips on how to break everything down within 15 minutes. What the hell is that? that? No. Fuck that. What? what Jack who? Davis there, did you? Is that David? <laughs> Jesus. Please do. I forgot to buy a Jack Davis comic. The mall Halloween mask behind him? <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's, that's really cool. cool. Yeah. Wait a minute. That's what those what? helmets were? I guess. Oh, no, you learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. I used them to like create other oh, Mandalorians yeah. with Bubble Fett so they could fly into space. They look like space masks when I was a kid. No? <laughs> no, space. That? They only need the little thing to cover their mouth yeah. so they can go shoot the mine out. Over and you can do it like Han could go up and chase down Boba Fett in the well, sky. Like, you know, okay. Another ash foil. 
Oh, nice. Nice. That young Han, little young Luke. Ah, that's not really that good of a look of Han. Yeah. Kind of creepy. That could be the, that was a deep fake Han that showed up in a Book of Fett, correct? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Ruben, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, Ruben. Soon to probably come into Mandalorian Season 3. Now listen. Talking. Listen, at the end of the day, we know it was up. Yeah, we do. <laughs> that Obi Wan, uh, I guess Luke, I guess. Who won that, by the way? We know it was up won at what? that at the end of the day. That fantasy, the fantasy oh. thing. Who won that one? Yeah. Help. Help. Maybe bring since, we, since we couldn't argue about it. Oh, Jedi said. came back. I couldn't oh, argue for, forever. So Jedi's back. I don't back, have any right? food on my. I don't have any food on my face, do I? I think I, I did. Think I, think more Davis nice. yeah, I don't Davis. think I even chewed. No, it's Amy Provenbos. Perfect timing. Who won, uh, fantasy, who won the fantasy Star Wars game the last one we played? Jedi. I mean the Empire. Oh, oh, nice. oh yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. Who won the la- the Boba Fett one? Yeah. No, Boys were asking. Box. Ruben was asking. Yeah, Ruben. Let yeah. it go. I eventually had to let go of how I got robbed on the droid thing. So, <laughs> Wait, what do you guys want us to do? Do you want us to do Mark Madison? Do you want us to do? We knew the con Batman was on. The, uh... The con was on. Apps cut. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, DM me. I need you. Uh, Astro Jedi. Campbell. Uh, Astro would like. Oh, oh they got another Campbell. Nice. I feel like giving it to him. Campbell, nice. We're not. We're not going to do droid madness again. Should we do dark horse madness? Okay. Yeah. Hey Astro, I'll send it to you. I'll. Uh, I'll DM it to you. Group shot. What? What did do you, you mean? Get, uh, the Astro, did you get the package? That's foil. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, I'm getting on. Astro and Sticks mixed up. Never mind. You're almost uh, on ratio. Right. It says etched foils are one per six, so you need four in your box to hit the average. Maybe the box was never searched. Well, Hoth is dope. We haven't hit a sketch card yet. Hey, hold though. that on. Hold that up again. This one? Hoth? Yeah, hold the Hoth what? one up. In the trenches? Yeah, no, because it has something to do with that Kim guy. All right, go ahead. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. How many packs do you have left? Uh, I think four is left in there. Okay. Mm. Do we have to do something for March Madness this year? I'll figure out a game if we want to do it. But uh, I think you can always put it up as a poll. If you got a couple options. Yeah, if you guys want to do something for March Madness, let us know. I'm not going to do that long ass bracket thing that I did last year. I well, uh, you well, you took you. I had to do all the damn slides. So <laughs> don't have time for that either. <laughs> Oh, gold. Is that gold? Oh, look at that. Blue steel oh, on gold. gold. But it's blue steel. Steel at Harrison Ford blue. there. I think it's blue steel. Blue steel. Either that or Magnum. It could be Magnum. Boba. Another Boba. Oh, uh, Another Boba. Boba again. The cool Chewy with Han and Carbonite there. That's cool. That's kind of cool. Mm. Leia. They reuse this card all the time for Galaxy. Oh, no. That Leia shot. Yeah. How was dinner, Jay, uh, Jedi? What'd you have? Uh, I don't know. It was like uh, barbecue, uh, like pork on a stick. Oh, here's one. Mm. It's pretty good. City chicken? Is that our oh, garbage oh, kids chicken. card? Yeah. Lost What's Galaxy that? cover. It doesn't look like garbage field kids. <laughs> right. Oh, you got two It though. is garbage field kids. Yeah. It is a garbage field kids thing. That's yeah, cool. Lost Galaxy. Hey, you got two. Those are hey, only one for the box. Thing. Does this say anything about red? Uh, I don't know if I put that on. I don't know if that's a thing. It does just say N parallel. Hey, real quick. Uh, I hope, hopefully, people are. Uh, I know Marco mentioned it earlier. Hopefully, you guys are following me on IG. I have about. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, behind my big belly. Use again. What the boxes? Yeah, he's got I a bunch of boxes. Nine or ten boxes that I need to open that I'm going to be making videos for this week. Make sure you follow the Jay Johnson 22 on the IG. Jedi, your right. your uh, videos are epic, man. Yeah, your videos are great, dude. Yes. Yeah, I appreciate that. Well, what's it? Good. What's it called again? What was your title that you liked? Your parts are showing. My parts are showing. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't know. I was feeling a little loony when I. Was You're funny. If you think he's funny on this show, you should watch his uh, IG. Make sure you check it out. Give him the support. Give him the love. Group shot. Yeah, absolutely. And then try to tell me how IG works because I still can't figure it out. 
know. Another S foil. I'm learning. Ooh. There you go. You hit your uh, you hit your ratio. You got four. You had city six. chicken today. What? Ooh, I like city that. I like the game cover. Is that what it's? I don't know. It's like barbecue pork on a stick that you grill. What was that guy's name? Uh, on the little skewers. Oh, oh, oh yeah, of your kind of here, from uh, the you cantina. <laughs> No, city chickens, veal, and pork. So we end with the classic Alan McKay. Ah, uh, it's uh, a good book. No sketch. So no, no sketch card. But we did get two Lost Galaxy cards, which are only yeah, one you in did. twenty-four. You did. So. Those are only supposed to be one per box. You got, got a couple two. bronze. Wow, so he subbed yeah. out the wrong thing. He yeah, and the bronze are only supposed to be yeah, about one per box less. too. So getting two bronzes was a good, good hit. Yeah. Wait, is the bronze more rare than the silver? Yeah, which is weird. Yeah, weirdly enough. Yeah, yeah. you want to see? Look, you see the silvers are one per three, so he should have gotten. I was hoping for an autograph, but hey, what can you do? Ninety six is a rough number to hit. Yeah, so. it's like spring plates. One, two, four, one, tw oh, one in twenty, one in twenty four. So one in one in a box. One in twenty four in the box. Yeah. Okay. So we did pretty good overall for that box for being yeah, yeah. an open box or possibly searched. So, so the ones that do forty two dollars. The ones you missed out of that silver is Django, Boba, Chewie, and Anakin. Oh, Anakin. Yeah. Oh, nice. So if That's I find cool. if I find another box uh, for cheap, I can make a set maybe. Maybe. Hey, Wookie Sam, man, your video was was good too, dude. That thing was spot on. I enjoyed it. Yeah, Sam, you just got to go blank and just go through it. You'll get it. No, he did great. It. I thought he did great, but that was his first one too. I think so. He did awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it does take a little bit more. What we do out here sometimes, uh, I know I've been called unprofessional before, and I am, but it does take a little bit of work to do what we do here. So, Speaking of that, I want to thank everybody at the con, if they're still around or if you're seeing this video. Everybody that came up to me, I really do appreciate it, man. It, it, it does mean a lot. The only thing I'll say, though, is like uh, I know you're familiar with me because you see us on the – for any of us when you see us at the con, you see us at uh, uh, on, the, on the thing, and we're familiar, and even if we talk in chat – if you could just introduce your name maybe to us when you say hi and start talking, because I like to use your name and, you know, I don't always know, you know, I mean, you see us, but we don't know what you look like. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, that really cool. it's cool. I hear. Oh, well, I know what you're saying, but I don't go anywhere, but I will in a couple of weeks. Yeah. I'm saying <laughs> like when you're like, hey, man, love you on Sundays. Cool, man. I don't want to say cool, man. I want to say, hey, hey. Hey. Tommy, nice to meet you too. Tim? Hey, man. Whatever, whatever Fort. your name is. Hey, you. Champion. Uh, on one of those stickers that say, hello, my name is, and put your... Yeah, yeah. You don't have to do that, but just like, you know, yeah. it's cool because we get to talk. I like to talk, man. It was fun. It was funny. Uh, they, Sean, my guy that I saw comics with, was there for first time for a double show. And like, he kept going like, yeah, because you know... Well, I, I should tell the story. I'll tell the story on Wednesday, the Larry Houston story. But it pretty much he was like, how do you know all these people? And I go, oh, well, I know some of them. But, like, the other ones I assume watch the show. It's like, they, well, they talk to you like they know you from ever. I was like, yeah, but that's the thing. Like, they, they see, you know, they see us once a week, you know. So we do know each other. But, like, then he's like, oh, that's why you weren't using their names. I'm like, yeah, because I don't actually know. There's a couple of guys I met that I don't actually know who they were. But coming from somebody who watches the show all the time, how do you want them to introduce yourself? Like, hi, say, hey. I'm I'm Darth Ramroosan, you know me, and my, but my real name is Ruben? Is that what you No, want? no, yeah, you just go like, no, you can go by your fake name. If you were like, hey, I'm Darth Ramison, I watch your show on Sunday. Then I, I, I remember that name from that's the show. What, what happens <laughs> most time? What happens most times when you're at cons is like somebody will be like, they'll they'll say something like like somebody came up and was like what shoes are you wearing? I'm like oh you ask me what the fuck shoes I'm wearing. <laughs> I don't know. You gotta guy. remember like, I'm, able to put that together though, man. People forget I am working there. Like I mean I do it for fun, but I we do make some money. So I'm like, what what shoes am I wearing? Are they the pickle shoes? That's all we need. Oh, to oh, hey, <laughs> I'm wearing. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm wearing. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm on shoe number two. I got shoe number three back here. You want to see him? Blah 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 blah. And then like I'll sit down and Sean will be. Like, what is that about? I was like, oh, it must be somebody watches the show. And they're like, oh, well, who was it? And I'm like, oh, I, I don't oh. know who it is. You know what I mean, <laughs> I don't. I don't fucking know. Like, not like an. Right? You're gonna have to. 
you're gonna have to start signing the shoes and like auctioning them off or something. Yeah, like game no, worn. No, you know, listen, game worn shoes. Also, you gotta come out with your own <laughs> pair of shoes. Cut, Cut them off and make them into cards. I'll tell cards. you what. So, <laughs> I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. shoes. They didn't go around Wednesday, but so I had two. I I started off with the black and black Pumas, and then I went to the um. Yeah, this, went to, this, this sounds like to, a save it for Wednesday story. Yeah, I went to another pair of shoes. I was pretty sarcastic out. when we actually get one of the recap. Yeah. Of yeah. It was Jedi night. took a dinner break. It's 1230 <laughs> on the East Coast, and I haven't eaten dinner yet. <laughs> oh, well, we'll talk about it on Wednesday. But thank you once again for everybody who, you know, we do appreciate everybody that supports the show. So, uh, Very much so. Absolutely. Really do. So, and it was really nice. It's really nice. And I told them, you can ask the boys. The first thing I sent back was messages that just hard to get through. I was like, hey, man, so-and-so said hi. What and what said they watched us? Blah blah blah. Said thanks for the content. I mean, we, you know, I, I tell everybody back. So mm-hmm. there you go. Uh, I did. Yeah, I put. I started off well because it was snowing. So what? <laughs> fucking loading the truck. And the first day, I wake up and to drive to the thing. There's like two inches of snow on the ground. So instead of wearing boots, I wore the black on black. So, um, but yeah. Uh, I am. Hello, I am Astro, and I'm a wizard. I like uh, short walks. See that. <laughs> That would, that, that would make that sense. Would that would make sense there. Okay. Yeah, that would be something. That would be something. I'd be like, oh, hey, Astro. <laughs> exactly. All right. Perfect. All right. Perfect. All right. Well, everybody, thank you very much. Uh, this is great. Pete, are we taking ourselves? Oh, we got uh, next week. Yeah. So you know what we're doing next week. I've been told not to tell everybody what we do every week, but if people want to do what they want, they're going to do it. They're going to figure out what we're doing anyway. So go ahead. Get us out of here. Thank you all for show. And thanks, Pete, for the comics. Pete, Wayseeker, so thanks for the comics. See you guys later.